the voice of Ocala with Buddy Martin. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. Hello, welcome to a Monday edition of The Voice of Ocala. I'm Buddy Martin, along with my broadcast partner, Tom Schmitz, who's back, and also Austin Statman Tatman. It's a little breezy, but uh, warm today. And as I said to one of the guys downtown who's homeless, Arthur. Arthur, it's going to be hot out today. He says, doesn't matter to me. He says, I don't mind hot. I said, well, you know, it gets kind of warm out here. So he says, well, he said, I'm all right with hot because I can find me a shade tree. He said, the problem is when you get cold, there's no place to go. Good point. Luckily, Arthur has an ability to go check in one of the places, local places once in a while and get out of the heat. But anyway, a lot of folks out there have plights that we don't think about sometimes. It's a day not to wear black in mourning. It's a day to wear orange and blue. If you truly want to represent yourself as a Gator fan and those of you who want to click on and see on WOCA.com what I'm wearing. I had a shirt that I've had for probably eight, nine months. Never wore it. Had, had, had the tags on it. I think I won it at the tip-off meeting, Ocala Gator Tip-Off Club meeting. And I said, you know what? Everybody loves to wear these when they're winning. Nobody wants to wear them when they lose. What's that old thing about victory has many ancestors and orphans have only defeat? The mm-hmm. defeat has only orphans, or something like that. Let's see it. Here it is. What's that right there? Gator basketball. Gator logo, basketball, right there. That's it. It happens. It was a brutal way to lose on Saturday night. Quite frankly, I was expecting Florida to play extremely well. Instead, the bottom dropped out. You can, uh, you can lose a game, and then the bottom can drop out. And everybody has a bad game during the year. And Austin, if you'll research this for the Sports Hour, I know Kentucky lost like three out of four, or they lost a lot of games right, right after the SEC, right before the SEC tournament. And there was some doubt Kentucky could even get in as a what were they seven or eight, whatever they were, a seven or eight. They seven were ten seed. seed before the SEC tournament. But they are now. I've been up a eight, I believe. It's a seven and an eight. Which I forget which one's which. But anyway, fact is, Connecticut's a seven. Kentucky's an eight. So Kentucky's an eight seed. Florida's number one. Making no excuses for a sloppily played game. I'm still not sure what happened to Scotty Wilbekin. I'm not going to say, but I have a suspicion there was something not right. Um, and it was a horrible nightmare for Gator fans. Left It reminded Gator fans of another famous night when the bottom dropped out for the Gator football team, which I'll tell you about in sports hour. <laughs> so that's what happened. Welcome and Tom Schmitz back. Tom, glad you're back. I know you had a long weekend uh, in, uh, up in Georgia. And uh, I just want to say right now, here and there, I said it on Saturday. I'm going to repeat it today while you're here, that Austin Tatman carried me for three days. So there you have it. Give yourself a hand. Play a little applause music. No, nah, I, I wouldn't say I carried yes, anybody. You did. you did. You carried me. And we got by without the big fellow. We missed him, but you did carry sure. me. Appreciate it very much. You know, and, uh, while I was in Atlanta, this is my first time to go to a funeral for an African-American. Mm-hmm. The experience is much, much different than anybody could ever mm. explain to you. Well, you can tell us about that later. Oh, I actually, well. I actually, my first one was when I went to Corona, Queens uh, in New York. To the Louis Armstrong funeral. That was my first African American funeral. Wow! Yeah. See, by the I way, I didn't go to Louis Armstrong funeral. By the by way, by the way, in a in a limo with Peggy Lee. It's a long story. I'll tell you about it. Sometime. That's a pretty good limo ride, right That's there. A, it's a freaky thing. I'll tell you about it sometime. Wow! But nonetheless, yeah, I know. Well, we won't hear about that. Uh, also, congratulations to Ocala and Marion County. Hollywood just happened here in a big, big way. The Silver Springs International Film Festival was a huge, I kid you not, huge success. Congratulations to all the volunteers, 
the board. Thank you to David and Lisa Midget, who basically helped back this thing. Great job by Laurie Zink who's uh, the director of the Ocala Film Commission, Foundation, excuse me, Foundation, and to Greg Thompson, who's the director of the festival, the entire board of directors. It was a wonderful four days. Ocala was, it wasn't light up Ocala, but Ocala was lit up for four days, and the reviews from the people who came from out of town were just effusive about what they loved about the city, the theater, the festival, the whole thing. Luckily, unfortunately for me, I went to the dinners and I went to a couple of events. I never made, I never got to see a film. You never saw a film. Never saw a film. Well, I understand Angie Lewis did a great job. So Angie gets all the accolades. Is that how that works? Well, I mean, she's one of the ones, but the downtown <laughs> piece of that was a Angie gets them. Yeah, there was a ton of people. I just want to make one small notation to you because I'm proud of it. Proud to serve with this group. I had a very small role in this, by the way. But I looked around. And I saw five, five key members of that board who all came from Save the Marion Theater. Well, yeah. I, I had can, those lights not stayed on in that theater. We I wouldn't take, have had this event. I take zero credit. I'm just saying. I and others helped bring this about. Really, Ocala helped bring it about. That festival and this whole thing would not have happened. And as a result, I'm extremely proud on two fronts. A, Ocala stepped up, which we were, you know, we didn't know. It was up last Monday. Right. We were on the air downtown Tuesday, and Angie was saying, I don't know if we're going to sell tickets or what's going on. Number one, Ocala stepped up. Number two was a huge success, and the people involved, very special people to serve with. Well, I know that you don't like taking pats on the back, but let's go ahead and give you one, because I saw what your job was. Your job was of vital importance. You were Gerald Urkel's chauffeur. That was pretty much what that did. Your vital importance. He did that today. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Gerald Urkel's been chauffeuring around that half of Ocala all his life, and there's a guy that's committed to whatever. If somebody needs something, he's always there. Uh, he get, uh, out of the blue, gave me a ride home know, today he, when I was dropping off my rental car. You found out about it today when you were stuck, and I ran into you in the Enterprise, and I was, for a change, helping Gerald. He well, Enterprise will take you home, and I was just going to get a ride from them, and Gerald said, no, I'll take you home. There you go. That's Gerald Ergo for you. Anyway, proud of Ocala. We'll get into some details on the festival. In fact, Gerald will be up next uh, on the next break. By the way, the date on your arm Saturday night, I seen the photos. You far out kicked your coverage, pal. What you mean I had a tattoo of the date no, no, itself? The, oh, that, oh. That, that date you had on your arm? That she, woman? She, 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 you're way out of your league with that one. Well, you know, she's pretty darn lucky to have a good-looking guy, too, by the way. I just want you to know Well, that. Brendan is a good-looking guy. So, yeah, your son's a good-looking guy. I'll give you that. Yeah, I know. Uh, Miss Tony likes the accolade, ladies, <laughs> for sure. Hey, uh, famous movie star passed away today. We'll talk oh, about that. I'll tell you, it's had a long history. Uh, Gerald Ergel will be up uh, with us. He'll give us his review. He's the president of the uh, of the um, Silver Springs Film, uh, Silver Springs International Film Festival. Gerald is great job by Gerald, kind of keeping us all together. He'll be up the next uh, next segment to talk about what went right and what what the plans are next, and a little bit about the details. He's got some interesting stories about the Travoltas, at least one of them, which he told us today. So we'll tell you about that. A lot more to come your way on this Monday. Glad to be with you here, wearing my orange and blue, representing the Florida Gators. This is the time when you have to stand up for your team. So there it is. We'll talk more after this time out on the Voice of Ocala. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, the new old-fashioned bank. Let us introduce you to OCUS, a simple way to bring your business online. Through this relationship, your business can have a fully functioning website in less than 30 minutes. We will also provide you support with social media, sales tracking, e-commerce, and online scheduling, which is all optimized for mobile users. OCUS, now at Gateway Bank, Silver Springs Boulevard, Ocala. Come visit our technology center for your total small business solution. I'm Tom Ingram, and I'll see you there. This reprise of Ask the Cops is proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. Chief, Chief Ray, I'd like to get you and the sheriff to talk about how these cases come to you and how you find them out. And also, if you know of something and you're pretty sure something's going wrong, how to report it. Yeah, you know, they come in all, all different kinds of ways. Uh, a lot of them come through the school system. Uh, where uh, teachers will notice uh, behavioral changes in the kids, um, so they'll you know they'll talk to them. Uh, sometimes we'll get the reports from neighbors 
sometimes we get them from people uh, in the community that see them at the mall and see the, the kids being abused at, you know, out in the open, and they'll call us. Uh, so there's no really one way that we hear about it. That was a reprise of Ask the Cops, proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, attorney fighting for accident victims justice since 1976 and can be heard the second and fourth Friday of every month on The Voice of Ocala. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new old-fashioned bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Lewis. Let's talk every Tuesday afternoon on WOCA, the voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. This is Austin Tavern reminding you to stay in contact with us at WOCA. Find us on Twitter and Instagram at Voice of Ocala. Make sure to become a friend of our Facebook page and call us at 622-9622. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. I'd like to invite you to stop by and see our new boutique area and meet our staff of professional stylists. Here at Hello Gorgeous, we are ready for prom season with updos and makeup. And with summer coming, now's the time to book your appointment to get that Brazilian blowout or start with your summer highlights. But don't stop there, we are a full service salon offering manicures, pedicures, and facials also. So if you've been searching for a salon to call your own, come and see us at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located at 48 South Magnolia Avenue in downtown Ocala, right next to the Marion Theater. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon at 351-5358. That's 351-5358. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. The average adult takes only half of the recommended 10,000 steps a day we need to stay healthy. More than one out of four plastic surgery patients recently divorced women and one in ten are newly single men. And their main reason for going under the knife is to improve their appearance and show their ex what they're missing. People who are watching their weight are more likely to pick foods that sound healthier. But health-wise, they're pretty much interchangeable. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. program it was a it was a terrific four days not that some things couldn't be tweaked every new event can be tweaked but let me just say this for all the world for all the people back there who stand around with their folded arms for the people in government who seem like they want to torpedo things sometimes and not willing to step up go get a blueprint for the silver springs international film festival and see how a bunch of people step up and get the job done that's what we need more of in this community. At a time when we feel like we're gridlocked, we can't get one county to do this, and one county commissioner, city council, this office or that office, we've got this to go back on. It can happen. Yes, Ocala, you did it, and the Silver Springs International Film Festival did it, and congratulations to all of you, including the city, who supported this in a big way. The guy who spearheaded this operation, who's president, among the key people, I know he wouldn't want to take all the credit or probably much credit. He deserves a whole bunch of it. Who's the president of the Silver Springs International Film Festival, Gerald Ergel. He joins us now. Gerald, congratulations. Well, thank you, buddy. I uh, I did hear that and appreciate those kind words. And 
there was a lot of people. I uh, I am the chairman of the uh, Ocala Film Foundation, which of course put on the Silver Springs uh, International Film Festival, and uh, but the foundation is the charitable side, which we hope to use uh, any funds that's made. We're going to take them and turn them back into our local. Uh, students that are in our film classes and uh, help them with scholarships, hopefully, and buy equipment and just just help them any way we can to try and uh, encourage them to continue their you know their interest in filmmaking. Of all the things that happened, Gerald, aside from your personal encounter with the Travoltas, which I'm holding out to the end for people to know about how you uh, you know how you interact with Hollywood. Um, what were the what were the what was the one moment when you were the proudest of the whole thing for four days? Those folks didn't hear about it. It started on Thursday night with kind of the stroll around Ocala. Where you stopped in uh, merchants and restaurants and places and had and had little hors d'oeuvres. Of course, topped off by the 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 the, uh, the showing of uh, Preachers of the Black Lagoon plus some other videos at the theater, Full House, but, and then of course the elegance of Saturday night, which was just tremendous, especially the visual part. Food was pretty good too. But there are a lot of stuff in between. But what were the what was the one or two moments, Gerald, for you? You felt the proudest of, of accomplishing this. Well, yeah, buddy. I think of all of the big things that you mentioned. I think that one of the things that I am most proud of is the fact that through the efforts of Angie Lewis, mostly who kind of led the way with the downtown merchants and restaurants, they have come together in support of the film festival. I think better than anything they have ever come together for. Uh, I don't think there was, there was a couple that just due to what they did, it just didn't kind of work out for them to be a part of it. But any of them that had anything at all to offer, they became part of the film festival. And I think that that's going to be something that's going to pay off for them down the road because now they see they can work together. And I think you were going to see a lot of good stuff come out of that for the downtown. Well, you would know all about that shoveling coal, as they called it down there, because as mayor and, of course, city councilman and all the things we did together on the Save the Marion Theater Group, dealing with the DBA, dealing with the city council, uh, and dealing with the merchants. It's not an easy group to get together. What we all fail to do, one woman seemed to accomplish. Angie Lewis did a marvelous job. I, by golly, we ought to put her in charge. Maybe she should be the next mayor behind Kent. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> well, we might work on that. Yeah, exactly. We might work on that. You're right. She yeah. did an awesome job. And, every, and, and you know, yeah. let, let's say it's always easier to 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 to, to, uh, to to praise people who don't have to have the whole load of carrying on your back. And Laurie Zink, I don't think anybody would want her job. And she oh. had a lot of challenges. Uh, yeah. But she pulled it off. So my hat is off to Laurie and then to Greg Thompson on the film end of things. And then, of course, the great response from the filmmakers who who just were blown away by our city, the way they were treated. Tell the story you were telling me this morning about the person you talked to from out of town. Uh, yeah, Wendy. Uh, McKenna. Oh, Wendy, Wendy, McKenna. Wendy, yeah, McKenna. From, she's an actress. Uh, yeah, she is, uh, she's an actress. Uh, she's big on television. I, you know, and just for the name, I didn't really know her. And then when I looked her up, gosh, I know her. I mean, she's been on NCIS. She's been on... Uh, a lot of the crime shows, uh, you know, so she is a regular on, on TV is serving as different parts on there. But anyway, uh, as she was leaving Saturday night, uh, I spoke to her and thanked her for coming and, uh, and you know, how much we appreciated her being here and that I hope that she had a good weekend. And she told me, she says, without a doubt, one of the most fun, enthusiastic, well put together weekends I have seen in many, many years. And right off the bat, she said, and I will be back next year. So and that was encouraging. I thought that was really that's good. That's great. And she goes to a lot of these things, too. Um, she goes to a lot of film festivals. Well, she actually was here representing the Manhattan Film Institute right. in New York. Which right. Of course, we, we're, we're really cultivating an interest with them so that they can come down and do seminars for our students that we have. Someone said to me earlier, in fact, it was Dan Martone. I walked in. He talked about he heard it was great success. He was at dinner. He and Joe Marchand were at the dinner on Thursday, or at least the event on Thursday. And he brought up the point was, what we really want is to get the directors to come here and scout locations. And, Gerald, you have a little background in, in working previously with other, other movie companies and stuff. And, you know, what we want to do is then get the movie companies to come here and then maybe use some local talent some of their films. That would be the ideal thing. But you got to crawl first. 
This is a great Absolutely. jump start, and this is a. I guarantee you, there are a lot of people today who know about Ocala and the film history who didn't know about it before. And I want to say that I had the opportunity to talk with a couple of filmmakers. One of them was a gentleman from um, University of North Carolina at Winston Salem who teaches film. He and his wife. Right. They had a video. They had one of the film in there. It was a doggy. Was it dog? Dog down. Doggy now. Whatever it was. It was about yeah. Dog down. Uh, dog down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they didn't win, but they said. I just want to tell you, uh, they said that, you know, we, we, not only did we enjoy ourselves, but he says the people we met here couldn't have been nicer. And not only that, he says they were very classy the way they did things, and we absolutely love your city, and we love that Marion Theater. So that was very heartwarming to hear that. Well, uh, of all the reports I've heard, the, the filmmakers all love the theater because it's hard to find a historic theater that is so well restored and so, you know, so well kept that has all digital sound and, and, uh, and video and equipment, you know, where they can get their, their movies can get a, a real quality screening. And so that really is impressive to them. And, uh, everyone that, everyone that I talked to or heard, they were extremely pleased with the, with the screenings that their films got. Uh, which is what's important. Yes, I mean they really could care less about all the nice dinners. Right, That's not exactly. What, They're about the f- list, yeah the screening of their films and people seeing their movies is what's important to them. I'm sorry to say I didn't see to see any of, them, but if I know someone who has them, I'm going to get a chance to see them. And the other thing is that uh, the uh, the events, of course, are great. But then there was the actual salon, the filmmaking. Josh LaSalvo was here, or as was called by the MC. Josh LaSalle was here. Yeah. Uh, he's with <laughs> us now. And uh, I know he was hanging out around the brick and, and probably some of those seminars and salons. Uh, Josh, did, did you get a chance to catch any of those? Yes, I was only able to catch the Saturday morning one because obviously Friday I was in school. But it, I was blown away with the amount of talent that you had on one panel. And you had guys that were producers, were directors, and then you had it all the way to the actors and actresses. So you had the full length of you know, how a film is actually produced from one end to the other and getting the full range of information, what directors are looking for in actors. And they basically said they don't know what they're looking for until you walk into the room. Mm, and that it, I've learned a lot. I, I, I mean, I have a full mm. page of notes written down. It was really so, great. I heard, by the way, that's, that, great. that's great. I heard, by the way, that, that Bruce Mozart was brilliant in his panel discussion and said he told the story about the, the movie, uh, of course, that we saw, Creature from the Black Lagoon. He was involved in some of that stuff, and they had to have gone to the Amazon to film part of it. And they said he told about in the salon that they had to use dynamite to cr- create certain scenes in the Amazon. And he said at one point, you know, if you know, remember this, this, a lot of the movies in a boat, at one point the dynamite apparently <laughs> – Tipped the boat and everybody fell over at the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Only Bruce. You, that was, uh, well, you know, it's hard. It's hard to, well, you just don't think about it. But from 1954, when the creature was made, you know, there has been, that was a horror movie. Yeah. I mean, that was a scary movie yeah. in 54. And I thought it was really kind of neat that things have changed so much until the other night when it was shown. Yeah. There was a lot of laughter. People it was a saw comedy. some of the, some of the yeah, <laughs> yeah, they saw some of the special effects, yeah. and they laughed about it because yeah. it's just so much different than what it is. It's today. like a spoof of a horror movie, almost. You know, it yeah, really, it, it, it really is. And, and yet, it those really were is. those were actresses. Were all were all know, all well known people. And Absolutely I found out I found out later that the people swimming and down there, besides Rico Browning, who was the creature, were the Perrys. Newt Perry and oh, Dot yeah, Perry. Newt, yeah. And Dot was doing the swimming as a double. And, of course, Dot taught a whole bunch of people to swim, including my daughter, Laurie Martin Gregory. Yeah. And she was about, you know, yeah. two or three years old. Dot taught a bunch of people how to swim. Anyway, a lot of ties. She taught both my boys. She taught my boys. Did both she? my boys to swim. Yeah, she taught yeah. a bunch of people. So, absolutely. And, so. of course, now Dilly, their daughter, now she is. She's right. doing it. Uh, last right. time, that's how I heard. She was still doing right. it. Right. Gerald, we got 30 seconds to tell your story on the before we go to break. Then I'm not cut us off on the what happened in, behind the scenes with Kelly Preston and John Travolta. Yeah, well, you know they were there, of course, and uh, and they actually left uh, Ella Blue's birthday party to come down there, which I thought was it was very generous of them to do that. And uh, as they were leaving the stage and, and headed out the door, there was a large group of people hollered "Happy Birthday, Ella Blue," and. Uh, one of the people that were with them when they got outside said that uh, that Kelly said, that's what makes us feel like Ocala is home. 
How about that? And that's what, and, yeah. and, and that's a wonderful thing to hear. And it's also great to hear people saying how well, I might say, love our city, and our downtown, our area. Congratulations again, Gerald, on the chair as the chairman of the Ocala Film Foundation. Great job. There you go. Good to serve with you. Look forward to October. We'll talk a little bit later. Um, Thank you, buddy. We appreciate you. Appreciate you and all you do, my man. All right, Gerald Ergel. Thank you very much. All right. That's what it was like. It's a good good time. See what you missed, Tom. It was a great, great time. I, I'd have loved to have been here. I but, you know, know. other things to do. I understand. Okay. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll tell you about that uh, famous movie star who passed away with what a history he had. Coming up next right here on The Voice Book Column. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Because I'm the happy life alone, if you feel like that's what you want. Hi, it's Lisa Midget, owner of the brand new Proper Tea Salon. It's a perfect time to freshen up your cut and color for the new year. And if you really want to change up your look, talk to us about Hotheads extensions for extra volume and length. How about a blowout for date night? Give us a call. Enjoy some me time while you relax in our newly renovated salon and check in on Facebook using our free Wi-Fi. We know you'll be happy with your new look. We guarantee it. Our style guarantee assures you that no matter what, you will love your hair or we will fix it for free. Call for your appointment today, 352-351-1771. We're located in downtown Ocala, next to the Southside Deli. Tell us Buddy sent you for 20% off your first service visit. Now hiring licensed cosmetologists, nail techs, and front desk staff. Visit our website, thepropertees.com, for our online application. The Properties Salon, timeless elegance meets classic sex. Are you in the process of planning your wedding reception? Are you planning that birthday party for someone special? Or maybe you're just looking to throw a party for yourself. Are you in charge of this year's company outing and looking for something fresh and fun to do? Well, KT Entertainment is your answer to all those questions. We provide music, trivia, and karaoke for everybody's enjoyment. If you would like to get in touch with KT Entertainment and find out about our competitive prices, call us at 352-512-2611. That's 352-512-2611. Or you can find us on the web at kt4fun.com. That's KT, the number four, fun.com. So remember, whether it's a wedding reception, a party, or a company outing, it's KT Entertainment for all your karaoke, trivia, or musical needs. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. The U.S. with a warning for Russia, saying there's strong evidence of pro-Russian protesters who have taken over government buildings in eastern Ukraine were paid to do it. We consider... Russia moves into eastern Ukraine, both overt and covert, to be a serious escalation. Spokesman Jay Carney saying Russia could get hit with more sanctions if it keeps intervening in Ukraine. It may be a breakthrough in the 31-day hunt for the missing Malaysian Airlines jet. Ships detected two separate pings that could be from the plane's black box. Clearly, this is a most promising lead. Angus Houston heading up the search, saying it's the best information authorities have had so far. But he says search teams need to refine the evidence before they can say anything for sure. Fox News Radio's Simon Owen. Authorities say the number of confirmed deaths in last month's Washington State mudslide is now 33. All but three have been identified. Fox News, we report, you decide. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. So I knew it was important to have life insurance to protect our family, but I was putting it off. But then yesterday, a girlfriend of mine asked me, point blank, What would happen if you lost your husband? How would you pay the bills? The mortgage, the car payments, food. And that's when it really hit me and I realized I needed to get us life insurance right now. So I called AIG Direct and in less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Now just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing the kids and I are protected. And my husband was so happy I got the quote. Save up to 70% when you get term life insurance through AIG Direct. Call now for a free, no obligation quote. It only takes five minutes and you could save up to 70%. 1-800-294-6051. That's 1-800-294-6051. Call 1-800-294-6051. 
On the next day of Ocala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Randy Lewis. He's an advocate for people with disabilities and the father of a child with autism. He's coming on to speak to us about his book, No Greatness Without Goodness, How a Father's Love Changed a Company and Sparked a Movement. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. Carol Ann Baldwin will be in the studio to answer your questions about your lawns and your gardens on her show, You've Got a Garden. Joe Reichel will be in the studio from Damage Control. Have all of your disaster restoration questions answered, your one-stop solution for damage recovery services. And then Torsten Colland is coming on, the CEO and co-founder of You Noodle, coming on to speak about ways to unearth the next generation of entrepreneurs. Sue Owens-Wright is an award-winning newspaper columnist, and she's been honored by the Humane Society of the United States. She'll be on the air with her book, Braced for Murder, a beanie and cruiser mystery novel. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live, right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370. WOCA. So one of the benefits of sitting here in the windows is the young ladies walk by with our young chick magnets that we have here. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate yeah. your first. I was talking about you and that. me. But, uh, oh, you are talking about yeah. me? No, talking about you and me. Oh, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. I appreciate but, uh, that. That was my old line from Joe Williams that I used to use in Denver with just a couple of chick magnets. But anyway, the real chick magnets, of course, are Josh and Austin and coming by here. So Austin, um, I'm informed Austin is really kind of already tied in to a chick, so he's not really That available. is. I saw her yesterday yep. with Austin at Eden's Beach. He was actually earning points with the girlfriend's family out on the girlfriend's dad's Ooh. boat for his oh, birthday. Yes. For his birthday. birthday. For your birthday? Not for my birthday. You my birthday, birthday was in February. Oh, you were the dad's birthday. Yes, girlfriend's dad's Whoa, birthday. Oh, you are really, really putting in the points. He was yeah. nice. props yeah. to you. It was at Eden's Beach, though. It was nice. That place was packed. I, I, I that's told you. Oh, it's always packed. It is crazy. Get, it is remarkable what they've done now. Randy Quintus and his family, unbelievable job they've done down there. I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time down there this summer. I, I love that. I mean, place. the parking lot... The actual parking lot at Eaton's Beach was filled. The satellite parking lot was filled. And then they had the whole entire boat uh, set up Oh, yeah, up the filled. boat dock. And that's the key. Slain. Way to go. Is boats. To go somebody's got a boat and drive there in the boat. There you go. Which I plan to use Tom Ingram's boat a lot this summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. But what I was saying is that the people are walking by here, and, and, and Josh brings up the points about Dr. Buddy today, and we are going to give you a little advice the love, Lauren, today. We'd like to help you out. Dr. Buddy's in the house. And he's here to serve. And one of the things I want to ask you about, do you believe, are you listening to me? Do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, do you first believe I, in love at first sight? I'm first time talk, I saw I'm, myself in a mirror, I was in love. You, I'm not talking about you and yourself or food, okay? Oh, okay. I'm not, okay. That's not what I'm we got to clear that up now. Uh, I just want to ask you, do you believe in love at first sight? She's not going to answer me. She's not going to answer she doesn't, Do you she believe in you. love at first sight? <laughs> Does anybody believe in love at first sight? I can't get anybody to look at it. Is so. anybody listening to Buddy Martin? Yeah, I guess Dr. Buddy's not getting them to have any clients today. Well, we're going to mention that. We're going to talk about that and give you a few other little tips. First of all, about if your woman's not acting right, what you can do about it. A little dating advice. Uh, then I got some special tweets for you ladies out there. When it comes to your looks, I'm going to tell you some guy stuff you need to know about. All right? Helping them out today on Dr. Buddy, coming up next hour. Meanwhile, a guy that didn't need too much help was Mickey Rooney, who died at 93. 
not only did I have a lifetime of show business, a lifetime of love. He rivaled Elizabeth Taylor in number of marriages. Both of them were married how many times? Mickey Rooney was married. Oh, Elizabeth Both Taylor. of them. Both how of them were married, married? married. Same amount of times. How many times? I'm, I'm just going to take a. I'm going to take a guess and say nine times. Nine times. Anybody seven, else? Seven. 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 Twelve. Twelve. Okay, it's not twelve. Not twelve times. But you couldn't afford the rings for twelve. It's eight. Both married eight times. Well, 16, we're close. Sixteen we're marriages. Close. Yeah. Mickey Rooney, of course. Uh, well, but Elizabeth Taylor was married to one man twice. So that really count? True. That's true. So would you Ooh, could say that's a good question? Yeah, good question. Uh, he was, uh, I had a chance to, I didn't really meet him. I saw him. I didn't just say I met him. But he hung around in South Florida a lot, played a lot of golf. Uh, and uh, he was, a, he was a, a local favorite down there in Miami. Uh, I'm looking right now at his marriages. Can you come up with any of the names, people he was married to? He, was married, he was married to some beautiful women. Judy beautiful Garland. women. Judy Garland, you say? Nope. Oh, well. I know he dated Julie Garland for a while. No. No, you're not even close there. You may think of Ava Gardner, so you're probably thinking of. Maybe. Who, by the way, look at this picture if you didn't know it already. What a beautiful woman Ava Gardner was. Ava Gardner. Beautiful woman. She is, uh, and, uh, yeah. A Ava Gardner was gorgeous. She's just about as pretty a woman as you see, of course, and looks a little Mickey, but looks like he's, he's about five feet tall, by the way. So um, he had to be on, had to wear his high heels. But anyway, Mickey, when you passed away at 93, um, and uh, we'll talk a little more about him. You'll probably talk about it on, on Pop Culture with Larry Martin Gregory oh, on yes. uh, Thursday. So, um, uh, Also, Wendy McKenna. That came up on talking to Gerald Ergel, the chairman of the Ocala Film Foundation, talked about Wendy McKenna being here for the film festival. And we did a little research, a crack research team, team led by Tom, um, um, looked up Wendy McKenna for some of her credits and tell people who Wendy McKenna is. Wendy McKenna, it, her, she first came on the scene in Santa Barbara, the soap opera in 1984. But I remember her, once I found out, once I read her IMDb, as the wife of Shoeless Joe Jackson in Eight Men Out, the movie about the uh, Black Sox scandal. But she's also played a doctor on NCIS. She's played a lawyer on Law and Order. She's been on um, CSI as a doctor. She's been on... Um, uh, Desperate Housewives. She's been on a lot of big time uh, programs, and she's about to be one of the major stars of the new spinoff of NCIS, NCIS New Orleans. So, uh, back to this is not this is not a lady that you know just just is uh, lucky. You know, she didn't come fall, lately. She didn't fall off the back of the turnip truck. So right. I'll say down south, right? She's a she's a very accomplished. Actress, yeah, yeah, for sure, and uh, and so she was here, and she she loved, by the way, she's with the Manhattan Film Institute. And did you know that? Look she it up, by the played way. Played Manhattan Film Institute. Played played Carnegie Hall. Played the harp at Carnegie Hall at ten years old. Mm. Okay, okay, Josh, did you? Meet her while you were there? Yes, I did meet her. And uh, one thing that I got away with speaking with her, she, obviously Greg Thompson's good friends with her, introduced me to her. She was basically, I mean, when you're doing acting and all this, I mean, there's a lot of life and advice that goes with it, just about taking risk and getting outside of your comfort zone. Because if you just stay in your shelter and stay in your comfort zone, even when acting, you're probably not going to get the part. And she said for some of her roles in different movies and different shows is that, she always wanted to please the director when she went for audition and always looking to, oh, what's, what's this director looking for? I want to be what they're looking for. But in reality, all the director's looking for is... Be who you are. Be exactly. Who you are. Leave mm -hmm. them with part of yourself because mm -hmm. that will really determine if you get the role or not. It's funny. No, it, it's really great. But for, the parallel is exactly what Dr. Bunny's going to talk about today about hey. being yourself. So there we but go. speaking of your, but her biggest today where everybody is like, oh, that's Wendy McKenna. She was Sister Mary Robert in the sister in the uh, um, the uh, uh, um, what's the movies now uh, Sister Act and Sister Act Two oh, okay. with Whoopi Goldberg. She was Sister Mary Robert in that, so that's why she got a big break. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, it was a quite a again not going to belabor it because I know people who didn't go probably think I'm sick and tired of this film festival. But again, remember that. It was Gerald Ergel who said two weeks ago there never been anything bigger in this in this community than this film 
festival and we didn't know how it was going to turn out we didn't we, know yeah. how it'd be we had no idea if, if people would come or whatever and then to have it be such a huge success let's just take 30 seconds 45 seconds to describe the setting in front of the marion theater on saturday night with 10 chefs uh participating in this dinner with those 10 long tables with 200 people seated at a long table in front of my on magnolia in front of the marion and it was all lit up what a spectacularly festive looking place and of course the food wasn't too bad either which which one did you sit at well i actually was an escort so i didn't really get to Indeed. eat okay. until about um i want to say after the event was over yeah do you know who you at which restaurant you um i ate at mojo's i mean i just oh, yeah. rondo, rondo kinda, has great, great he's like food. hey man i got extra food and when yeah. you you cannot pass up extra food See, that's rondo. rondo he's always <laughs> looking out for people who don't get there to you eat. go that's exactly yeah. right I, my, my table was feta which is in, in the, at first we had to move from one table to the other because we couldn't get the proper seating. But feta, which is was good, you know. And, and let's be honest, the hardest thing is getting people there, seated where they're happy, and the food that people don't. Everybody has different ideas about food. Right, right. You can't please everybody on food because it's a blind draw. You show up, they give you a color. You go sit down at a table. You meet people that you didn't know. That was good. I met a woman who wrote a, who wrote grants. I'm gonna have a chance to talk to her. She was delightful in town here. Big listener to the show. I wish I had her card. Big loves the show. Loves reads reads the stuff we write in the best version media. Um, and I said, "What do you do for a living?" She said, "I write grants." I need to talk to her. I said, "Yeah." I said, "Because I want to get a grant together and try to do a documentary on the Marion Theater." Which, by the way, the professor and his wife from North Carolina thought that was a spectacular idea to do the theater because it was such a great story. But she said, "Here's the secret," and I'm gonna share with everybody. Here's the secret to writing, applying for a grant. It's hard. I said, okay, I'm all ears. Tell me. She said, I'm going to tell you, listen very closely what I say. Read the instructions three times. Hmm. Then read them again and do everything exactly as they say in the instruction. Right down to the letter. Exactly as they say. And that is the key to having a successful grant application. So there you go. If you're applying for grants, here's some professional advice from a professional grant writer. So. And here's a little method to the madness that we had going on on Saturday night. Because I, I was obviously the escort bringing people to the tables. Mm -hmm. We wanted people to have a blind draw. So they weren't all sitting with all their friends. Because obviously they know each other. Mm -hmm. We want them to interact with the filmmakers who right. had no idea who's, like, they don't know anything about Ocala. Mm -hmm. And pe have people like Buddy Martin who has been in Ocala and has experienced Ocala to sit down with a filmmaker. That just... I mean, that speaks volumes to the community and really show all the different people that aren't from Ocala what Ocala is. Well, my daughter, Laurie Martin Gregory, sat next to a couple of filmmakers from Fort Myers, and they're looking to do a film, and they want to do a film about a theater. Huh. We said, well, here you are. You know, not a documentary, but a film that takes place in a right, theater. Right, right. They love the idea of coming back here and maybe doing it to Marion Theater. Anyway, good time by all. We enjoyed it very much. It's a great time. Don't forget, October will be the second phase of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. We'll put it to bed for the, for the, for the next few months. And uh, congratulations to all who had a part in that. It was just a great time and a great success story. And once again, for those people out there who are frustrated and say, well, we can't do that. We're just Ocala. You know, we can't do that. It's not going to work. We're not going to. People aren't big. It's not big enough town to do that, you know. Here you go. Here's an example of how you can do it and a testimony of, 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 of how it can be done right. And congratulations to Ocala and all the people involved in that as well. Coming up next, tweets and quotes as we get set for hour two of Voice of Ocala here on a Monday at the station called WCA. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're streaming live at WOCA.com. The Source. You know, Austin, I'm sitting here at the computer looking at our Facebook page, and boy, we really need to tell more listeners about our Facebook page. No, no, Tom, so you got it all wrong. Twitter is the new age. What's a tweeter? No, a Twitter, Tom. The Voice of Ocala has a Twitter. We do? Well, how do we tell our listeners about that? All they have to do is get the Twitter app or go to twitter.com, type in Voice of Ocala in the search box, and click follow. All right, well, uh, what's the tweeter do? The Voice of Ocala's Twitter page updates all of its followers on the latest news, guests, giveaways, and contests. Oh, okay. 
but couldn't listeners just tune in weekdays from 3 to 6 to 1370 AM and 96.3 FM or even go to online at WOCA.com? Wouldn't that be easier? Yeah, okay, maybe. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige, it's all there in our name. If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics, do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. Uh Uh-oh. Is that what I thought it was? Um, as long as you don't think it was me running over a sprinkler head, then no. No, it wasn't. Oh, brother. Don't worry about it. I'll just add it to the honeydew list. If you had signed up for Mike Scott Plumbing's irrigation package in the first place, you wouldn't have to do anything. What? Mike Scott Plumbing does irrigation, too? Um, yeah. I told you they have packages where they take care of everything. Yeah, but I broke it, so they're not going to cover that. Ah, but with their annual irrigation maintenance plans, you never have to pay for another service charge or broken sprinkler head ever again, regardless of the fault. So that means I break it, they fix it. That's what I said, Mr. Genius. Okay, okay, you win. How do I sign up? I thought you'd never ask. Call Mike Scott Plumbing today and ask about their irrigation maintenance plans. 237-2888. That's 237-2888. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Looking for something fun and exciting? April 11th through the 20th, the circus is here. Circa Italia is finally here from Italy. Now, for the first time in America, Circa Italia is making a stop in Ocala at Trinity Catholic High School. Circa Italia is offering a special deal. One free child's ticket, age 12 and under, are free. When you purchase a regular price adult ticket starting at $20. This water circus has a limited number of shows at Trinity Catholic High School in Ocala. Circa Italia has done something brand new. A 35,000 gallon custom water stage. Want to see a 365 laser man act manipulating laser beams in front of you? Wait, there's more. That defying daredevil aerial stunts, dazzling mermaid performance, and Guinness's World Book record performers from around the world. Plus, after the show, you can meet the performers and take pictures with them for free. Be here to witness courageous stunts that will create madness under the white and blue tent for every age. Are you excited? The show is only one week away. Tickets are available at the box office or go to CircuitTalia.com to get tickets now. Up next, shows in Brandon, CircuitTalia.com. Delilah, I've got so much left to say If every simple song I wrote to you Would take your breath away, I'd write it all Even more in love with me, you'd fall We'd have it all The golf action over the weekend And is that NASCAR race ever going to finish in Texas? I don't know what happened. I turned it on watch uh, it for It's finished if you're Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, I know, that. I, saw him. I saw that he caught on fire yeah, he caught on fire you know, that, 40 that, that always amazes me. They act like this. Oh, get a little fire. Get off. Get your butt out of that car, man. He got out. That, no, he, no, I know no, that. No, did you see the flames in the back yeah, of that car? Of course thing? I did. Yeah, I know. I said it always amazes me. No if that deal. were me and I by my car, I, the, I, what I think was rolling, I'm diving to the window. Well, no that's way. That's no big deal. Yeah, right. They got on fire retarded. Sure, right, yeah, sure. They're good. Yeah, no right big, now, Joey Logano leads. Yeah. Thank you. My gosh, that thing's been going on forever. It, rained it out yesterday. It started like last Tuesday, didn't it? Yeah, then also they had some kind of false start or something happened at the beginning of it, and they, I looked up there and a caution in the second lap. They were going around, and it was crazy. I don't know. Anyway, we'll catch you up to that. A lot of, lot of wild shots over the weekend. The, uh, the tournament out the, the NGA out at the Ocala um, National had a surprise one or two, so we'll tell you about that. Plus the way that Matt Kuchar got beat was remarkable. Tell you all about that because Masters is coming up this weekend. Today at 515, our friend Ron Syrak, the managing editor of Golf World, will be joining us here on the program to so continue to try to bring you the top golf reporters on Masters Week. There's a new king in the world of chicken. Tell you about that next hour. 
Might be interested to know that uh, who you think is number one in the world of chicken. What is that one place called? Pope Yes? Mm-hmm. Is there Pope Yes in there? Yes. Pope Yes. You guys had the chicken? Never heard of it, actually. Pope Yes? P-O-P-E-Y-E-S? That, is that Pope Yes? No, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, you mean that's something else? Pope Yes? Popeyes. Oh, that's Popeyes. Popeyes. Oh, I thought it was no, Pope Yes. Pope Yes. I, I got it. it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I wanted to then just, that's all a different way. What can I say? Corny. I know, but that's what we do here. We do corn. Um, speaking of corn, let's uh, dive into our fake and factoid. Oh, excuse me, no, our tweets, tweets, and tweets and quotes. And we have a good fake and factoid today, by the way, coming up next hour. So we'll see how that goes. And roll well, up. If you're Tom, it's good. If you're Josh and Austin, it's never too good. Maestro, roll the music, please, so we can get out of this garbage. <laughs> This is one you should like, Tom Smith, being an old poker player yourself. This is how life applies to poker sometimes. Life is not always a matter of holding good cards, but sometimes playing a poor hand well. A hundred percent agree with that. And that's something that's, I knew you'd like that one. It's so true. That's such a great analogy. It really is. Because I got a lot of poor hands. <laughs> Number two, this is anonymous. I like this kind of. This kind of represents the character of somebody in a way. So, and quote: "The fact that I'm silent doesn't mean I have nothing to say." And finally, the great George Hallis. You guys know who George Hallis was? The young guys. You got you young guys, to, huh? You know who he was? Longtime coach of the Chicago Bears, owner of the Chicago Bears. Well, and the, the kid started out of the Chicago Stadies, and he was. Anyway, he's a famous figure. Played Major League Baseball. Yeah. Him. Said nobody who ever gave his best regretted it. Yep, that's what he said. Love at first sight. I can't say that ever happened to me. Even my wife, who I love very much and always have since I really got to know her, said we said it wasn't love at first sight for her or me. I'll tell you about that, how that worked out. I guess it's going to work okay after all Love these years. Love it for sure. You've never seen the right key lime pie. I'll tell you that, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I want to talk about that now. It's a whole different situation. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy coming up next. Update on the power plant. Thank you for our next hour. It's going to be a good one. Stay around right here on the Voice Bill Column. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA. The Sword. Just know you're not alone Cause I'm gonna make this place your home Help Ocala! We are stuck with aging inventory that's got to go. Are you stuck too? Driving in an old car you hate? This month, if you help me, I'll help you get unstuck from your old ride so you can drive a nicer, newer car today. Chris Spears here from Prestige Auto Sales. I can help you break free from that old car you hate. Here's how. One, bring me in your old ride, and even if you're still making payments, two, based on the sale price of the car you choose, I'll give you up to $4,075 more than the appraised value of your old car, and three, choose any nicer, newer car for my specially priced gotta-go inventory. Easy breezy. Are you feeling stuck with bad credit muck? Our For The People credit approval process will work hard to unglue you from your bad credit luck. So bring me in your old ride, and based on the sale price of the nicer, newer car you choose, I'll give you up to $4,075 more than the appraised value of your old car. But come quick. This offer won't stick around for long. I'm Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit Prestige Auto Sales or call 694-1234. Yes, 694-1234. See you at Prestige. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, the new old-fashioned bank. Let us introduce you to OCUS, a simple way to bring your business online. Through this relationship, your business can have a fully functioning website in less than 30 minutes. We will also provide you support with social media, sales tracking, e-commerce, and online scheduling, which is all optimized for mobile users. OCUS, now at Gateway Bank, Silver Springs Boulevard, Ocala. Come visit our technology center for your total small business solution. I'm Tom Ingram, and I'll see you there. 
Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Your home is safe, or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security. 219 Northwest 10th Street. 867-1965. Hi, this is Jody Saulnier. Jeff and I are the owners of J&J Jewelers in the Jasmine Plaza, which is located at the intersection of State Road 200 and Airport Road. With third-generation jewelers, voted Ocala's favorite jewelry store for the last five years. We carry a wide selection of new and estate jewelry, bridal sets, and citizen watches. J&J Jewelers specialize in jewelry repair and custom design jewelry, including wedding sets. All of our repairs are done on site and can even be done by appointment while you wait. J&J Jewelers is open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 10 to 2, and closed on Sunday and Monday. Stop by today or visit our website at jandjewelersocala.com or call 352-401-0001. You'll remember our custom design made for you by us at J&J Jewelers. Proud to be made in America. I'm Major George Patterson from the Salvation Army. Please stop by our family store at 120 Northwest 10th Street in Ocala, where on Wednesday you have a 50% off clothing and bric-a-brac. On Friday, 25% off furniture and large appliances. And on Saturday, stop by to our yard sale from 845 to 11. Donations can be made by calling 352-732-4469 and we'll pick it up. Funds from the store go toward the services that we provide in Marion County. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, and we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. Indian Ocean as the search continues for a missing Malaysia Airlines jet. Earlier today, crews engaged in a detailed grid search in military circles. It's called triangulating the target, in this case locating what may be the black boxes. Fox's Catherine Herridge confirming the sound could take days. Another meeting in the works between Secretary of State John Kerry and top diplomats from Russia, Ukraine and the European Union following the seizure of government buildings in eastern Ukraine by pro-Russian activists. Further Russian efforts to destabilize Ukraine will incur further costs for Russia. State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki. With their two kids in the back seat, state police in Maine say a woman was caught driving 123 miles an hour. It took a trooper at least 10 miles to chase her down. Fox News, we report, you decide. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. So I knew it was important to have life insurance to protect our family, but I was putting it off. But then yesterday, a girlfriend of mine asked me, point blank, what would happen if you lost your husband? How would you pay the bills? The mortgage? The car payments? Food? And that's when it really hit me, and I realized I needed to get us life insurance. Right now. So I called AIG Direct, and in less than five minutes, I had a quote. 
I was shocked at how affordable it is. Now just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing the kids and I are protected. And my husband was so happy I got the quote. Save up to 70% when you get term life insurance through AIG Direct. Call now for a free, no obligation quote. It only takes five minutes and you could save up to 70%. 1-800-294-6051. That's 1-800-294-6051. Call 1-800-294-6051. Yes, it's time again for Buddy Martin. Call him up and tell him what you're thinking. But be kind because he's doing the best he can. I'm just sick of all the amateur stuff, you know? I mean, like, if I'm paying top dollar, I want a little production value, you know? Like some editing, transition, something, some music. Don't worry, we didn't leave you. You think he's gone? He's not gone. That's the whole point. He's never gone. Our bosses say we gotta stay. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! It's time for the second hour of The Voice of Ocala. hoo y- You ever come across anything like time travel? Come on, stick around. It's free. If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. Welcome to Hour 2 of the program, where we talk about, do you believe in love at first sight? Notice that nobody who walks by wants to respond. Nobody, it's like they can't hear us. Do you believe in love at first sight? Maybe Can you I, have to, it has to be more of like a direct, hey, man in the red shirt, you know, type okay, of thing. Okay, I'll try that next time. I'll tell you. If you're just joining us in the first hour, we recap the weekend, uh, week events, I should say, actually starting Thursday, four-day events of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. Heard from Gerald Ergel, lots of good reports coming back to us about that. Talked about Wendy McKenna, who's um, an actress, and the great time she had when she was here. Uh, we had a chance to uh, talk a little bit about the festivities and what went on uh, the entire uh, four days and what a great success it was to everybody involved, and Ocala stepped up big time. <clears throat> Gerald Urgel reporting on some of the things he knew about. I love that Gerald Urgel managed to slip back in the back and get a hug from Kelly Preston. He's a serial hugger. He huggers. He hugs everybody. As a matter of fact, we set up a photo shoot at Silver Springs. The star banner was there. All this, all this elaborate detail of these two glass bottom boats with Bruce Mozart, Mozart or Mozart. I always say Mozart because that's what I've, since I was two years old, what I've done. But <clears throat> and Betty Haskins, who formerly you know, worked out there, did some photography and film and, and modeling. And then uh, Greg Thompson, who is the film festival's director, and Laurie Zink, who is the film com- foundation's uh, director, on the boat. It it must have been 500 pictures shot by a whole bunch of people. And the boat, the next morning, guess what was on the front page of the Star Banner? A photo of Jill Ergel hugging Betty Haskins. Uh, (laughs) I said, that's really news, you hugging a pretty girl. There we go. (laughs) So anyway, Jill managed to get a hug from from, uh, Kelly Preston. Anyway, that was a good story he told about how touched the Travoltas were, or Kelly and John were. Uh, You can't call them Travoltas because she goes by Preston by the fact that people, fans, reached out and said, happy birthday, Ella Blue, which is her, uh, their daughter's name. So they were, and she turned and said, this is why we love Ocala. So uh, that was a nice little touch. Uh, also, if you haven't heard, Mickey Rooney passed away at the age of 93. Talked about his eight marriages a little bit. Uh, and tonight, we're going to see some basketball. But the question is, are we going to see some vindication for John Calipari's now call Succeed and Proceed A.K.A. one and done. It's just a nice way to say it. It's just a phony way of saying it, but that's okay. Uh, And whether or not the validate, if this win, Kentucky wins, the validation of his system and his, it doesn't validate it. And I want you to go back, Austin or Josh, one of you, and look at the time right before the SEC tournament. How many times, how many games Kentucky lost, stumbled? They were the 10 seed at one point in time. They almost weren't going to get in at one point in time. It was a question where they would and how they got all the bad stuff out of their system and, and, and wound up on a great run and now playing for the championship. Something's a little awry when the seventh and eighth seed are playing for the national championship. The seeding committee screwed up. Let's just be honest about it. All right. Now, it doesn't mean that Florida has an excuse because Florida was number one, top seed. They played with that label on their back. All the way from you know time they got their the ranking I think it was late January all the way through 30 game run 
and Gator fans are obviously distraught about losing. I have a comparison to make it to during the sports hour. I'll tell you what that collapse felt like, similar to something else that happened to the Florida program. But today is a day when you need to represent Denver. Say there's a guy with a Denver shirt on right there. He's looking around and saying, you need to represent your team. Not today, if they, were, if they were playing tonight for the championship, of course you'd wear the orange and blue, right? Today's the day you need to represent your team when they just got beat and, and played poorly after winning 30 in a row because it was a great run. So I dragged out this shirt, which somebody I won, and I have never worn it. I took the tags off of it. And if you're listening, watching on WSA.com, streaming live, you'll see I have a blue shirt. What does it say right there, Austin? It's got a gator emblem, and it says basketball. basketball. On Thank you very buddy, much. Buddy, it's, it's interesting you bring that up because Josh can attest to this. Yesterday, I, as I put on my shirt, I looked at my girlfriend, and I said, I'm going to wear these colors even in my day of sorrow. And Josh I was, Josh can attest to this. I was wearing a blue and orange yes, you were. Uh, uh, button-up yesterday. Well, you were ahead of me then. I just followed your lead. So yes, that's the deal but, on that. And, um, and by the way, uh, Dr. Buddy. You got two young guys here today. I'm going to talk to you. I'm also going to talk to the young ladies. And one of the things I want to talk to you about is you don't have to do all that stuff. We love you sometimes the way you are. Okay? So I'll give you a little advice. And then I've got one from a website called Dating Advice, stevenspeaks.com. Uh, your woman not acting right, this is what you need to know. If your woman's not acting right. And also some terrific tweets about appearances of young women and how they look and what us guys think about wait, that. Wait, who did the, if your woman's not acting right, this is what you need to know. Where did that come from again? Stephen, StephenSpeaks.com And who is the author of this? It's not Stephen Wright or Stephen Wright. Is. <laughs> Why? Who's Stephen Wright? Stephen Wright just said the wrong way. Cause it's, Steve, no, it's not Steve Wright. Cause it's he's the one. Stephon Speaks, okay? Okay. What it's called. I don't know if it's, it's just advice. You can take it or leave it. I thought the concept was interesting. So we'll bring it to him coming up next, right here. And then you like chicken? As long as it doesn't have bones in it. Yeah, well, you can always take bones out of chicken. Well, I'm going to tell you about who do you think the number one company is now in chicken? Don't say it now. We'll, we'll talk about that after Dr. Buddy. Who do you think is the number one provider of chicken? In terms hmm. of restaurants in this community. Hmm. It just changed. You'll be interested to know who that is. So stay tuned to the Voice of Ocala. Coming up next, Dr. Buddy in the house. He's got his shingle up. Going to talk to you ladies about what you need to know and your guys about what to do if you're almost not acting right. Coming up next, right here on the Voice of Ocala. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. The source. Men, do you know your testosterone level? Are you experiencing decreased energy levels or unusual sleeping problems? Have you noticed you have less strength or endurance, decreased sex drive, increased irritability or depression? If so, you may be experiencing problems with low testosterone. If you're interested in a free testosterone screening, please call Renstar Medical Research at 352-629-5800. Again, that number is 352-629-5800. Zero, zero. This reprise of Ask the Cops is proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. On this episode of Ask the Cops, Sheriff Chris Blair talks about sex trafficking in the Marion County area. Well, the thing is, I mean, we had, we had a number of cases, and, uh, you know, we had one last year where uh, a subject uh, picked up a 16 and a 13-year-old. They were hitchhikers in Marion County, and uh, basically uh, we made a case against him, and he's doing 15 years with 10 years of probation. And we're presently working a couple cases right now with uh, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement on cases similar to that, and, and you know, they're ongoing at this point, so within the next couple weeks, uh, might be a month, but uh, we will be able to discuss those type cases. So they're ongoing investigations, so I can yeah. get into the details of them. But you're you're right, buddy. I mean, it, it is here. Uh, it's in the state of Florida and, and throughout the country. So it's something that we got to become very very proactive. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new Old Fashioned Bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Getting a head start in learning to read is more important now than ever for our young children. The Reading Pals program of Marion County pairs up reading mentors with struggling kindergartners and helps them get up to speed in their most important years. But they need volunteers. If you'd like to be a Reading Pal, call Jan Hathaway at the United Way at 732-9696. That's 732-9696. Be a Reading Pal today. On the next day of Mocala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Randy Lewis. He's an advocate for people with disabilities and the father of a child with autism. He's coming on to speak to us about his book, No Greatness Without Goodness, How a Father's Love Changed a Company and Sparked a Movement. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. Carol Ann Baldwin will be in the studio to answer your questions about your lawns and your gardens on her show, You've Got a Garden. Joe Reichel will be in the studio from Damage Control. Have all of your disaster restoration questions answered, your one-stop solution for damage recovery services. And then Torsten Colland is coming on, the CEO and co-founder of You Noodle, coming on to speak about ways to unearth the next generation of entrepreneurs. Sue Owens-Wright is an award-winning newspaper columnist, and she's been honored by the Humane Society of the United States. She'll be on the air with her book, Braced for Murder, a beanie and cruiser mystery novel. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live, right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. Attention passengers for flight 1370. The plane has been delayed at its departure point and will be at least two hours late. We apologize for any inconvenience. Are you serious? It took us over an hour to get here, two hours going through security and getting our tickets, and now we have to wait another two hours. Yeah, it's beautiful here, but we're inside this overcrowded airport all day because the plane is stuck in bad weather. This is the last time we ever do this. When we get back, we're going to Cal Aviation and getting our pilot's license. Yeah, we've been talking about that long enough. It's about time we did it. Then we can just fly ourselves and never have to deal with this mess again. Right. No long lines, no full body groping security, no baggage checks. Not to mention never losing your luggage. Remind me again why we haven't done that? Well, we're idiots. Oh, right. Uh, attention all passengers for flight 1370. It looks like the plane is going to be delayed a little bit longer. The airline has lost the pilot's luggage. Isn't it time you got your pilot's license? Call Ocala Aviation today. 352-861-7484. That's 352-861-7484. Hey, you earned it. Call today. This is Tom Smith live in WOCA News Center with this news break brought to you by Gateway Bank. Authorities are searching for a 21-year-old woman they fear may be a danger to herself. Leah Lucina threatened to hurt herself earlier on Sunday and has not been heard from since. She is believed to be driving a 2002 Toyota pickup truck, Florida license plate number S675KC. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says the woman is 4 foot 9 inches tall, weighs about 130 pounds. She is white and has blonde hair and brown eyes. Anyone with information about the case, call the Sheriff's Office at 732-9111 or Crime Stoppers at 368-STOP. This news break was brought to you by Gateway Bank, your new old-fashioned bank. Join Buddy Fridays for Community Gazette Day at Gateway Bank. All right, uh, the doctor's in the house. Time now to talk about uh, dating advice, love, Lauren, uh, some men's perspective today for change. We've had quite a bit of information for you ladies out there about men. Now we're going to talk to some of you guys. And But first and foremost, this couple right here walking by in front of us, they don't hear us, obviously. But I want to ask somebody out there, do you believe in love at first sight? Nobody seems to hear me. Uh, is our is our mic is our yes? I went out there during the break. It, you can and hear us lady, out this there. This lady right here can tell us. Nope, not looking not, up. She's no. not listening. Either. These guys right here. Hey guys, uh, you believe guys, yeah, you right. believe in love at first sight? They just said hi. That's all. They just said hi. Nobody <laughs> wants to talk. Nobody wants to talk about love at first sight. Doctor Buddy takes on these controversial <laughs> subjects. You know, ones that people just don't want to talk about. It, it's so controversial. Nobody wants to talk about. It. Nobody. Totally. It, it's like we weren't even here. So we'll go forward. These ladies right here. Do you ladies, do you believe in love at first sight? 
Look, this gentleman over here, he's going to wave. He, he probably yeah. believes in love at first sight. Yes, yes, all right. Hey, 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 a man in the red shirt finally got a response. All right, where are these ladies walking these ladies by right, here? You ladies over there. Hey, ladies, do you believe in love at first sight? Don't care. Walk straight ahead. Yeah, they, they don't know. Nope. Love at first sight. Anybody believe in it? We have one like man it. so far. One guy. That's all we got. We got nothing. <laughs> we might as well be in a fishbowl. People just don't even know. Anyway, we're going to talk about it. Well, they're trying not to make eye con contact with Billy Donovan because they feel so bad about the Gators losing. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. That could be it. Anyway, Dr. Buddy, love at first sight. Some studies suggest that eye contact must be made for about 8.2 seconds for that, quote, love at first sight feeling to occur. Now... 8.2 seconds. First of all, I didn't even, can't even see what you look like in 8.2 seconds, let alone fall in love with you. Now, my personal story is I've never experienced that. I would know what that was like. Now, I knew I had a good feeling toward my wife, Joni, when I met her that night when she was walking down the street with a guy who played for the Gator football team, a friend of mine, Victor Miranda. She was went to high school with Victor, and she was just arriving in school, and my roommate and I from college, a guy named P.K. Beck, we got out and walked over to the sidewalk to say hi to Victor because he was just coming back to school as well. A fraternity brother of ours, a Fidel brother. And he said, this is Joan Sharp. She's from North Miami. And she said, hi, Joan, how are you? He said, we're going to be down in the street at uh, Gatorland if you want to come down and have a beer with us. So we went down and we talked, we visited, and thought, nice-looking lady, you know, and nice lady, whatever. But I was dating another girl every now and then occasionally, not really straight. So my roommate the next day says, I ran into Joan Sharp, and she says, I found out she didn't have a date Saturday night. I said, well, you know, maybe I'll call her. What the heck? I called her up and said, hey, look, I know you're new on campus. I said, if you'd like, I'll come by. We'll go out. I'll bring you to the final house. You'll meet some guys and whatever. So then Sunday we went to church. So as the relationship began to grow, we got to know each other, and we fell in love. So I can't honestly say, I know she, didn't, she sort of didn't fall in love. Because she saw a guy walk into the dormitory room to pick her up that, and, and with a newspaper under his arm and a trench coat. She's trying to remember if I was the guy she met or not. So she wasn't. <laughs> she, she, there was no love at first sight. She no. couldn't rec- try to make sure she recognized she's you. Looking back on it now, I should have known it with a newspaper. that you know, Pino Cook loved that story yeah. about me having a newspaper. You know, that was the funniest thing. Oh, well, you should have known he was a newspaper on his arm. Anyway, uh, that's the story. Now, I don't know about you guys if you ever had that experience or not. Ladies out there, if you've ever had it or not. But some say you can happen. Some say it is not really true. It's a larky. I don't know. Have you guys ever experienced it? Have you ever met anybody who said love at first sight? I've heard people say that. I heard people say love at first sight, got married, and been married since then. First yeah. of all, 8.2 seconds. You're staring at somebody for eight, and they're staring back at you for eight seconds. Yeah, is that long or short? That's, that's creepy. That's long. <laughs> like, that's creepy. Eight, eight seconds? Eight seconds of me, okay, st- let's do of it. me staring at let's you. Let's do it. Talking. You're having a conversation. <laughs> that's not that long, talking in a conversation. No, I'm... I'm thinking of the 8.2 seconds as the first time you, you glance at somebody and you stare yeah. for them in 8 seconds. It says eye contact. It doesn't say staring. Well, okay. <laughs> gotcha. But still, 8.2 now seconds. That's a long time. Across, have you not ever looked across a room at a woman for a long time? No, I have, but I haven't Okay. I haven't made eye contact. Love at first sight. Well, what do you mean eight, you haven't made? Well, okay. For 8 seconds. Okay. Well, that's your point of view. I don't think it's unusual, but nonetheless, Josh? I, uh, I'll, I'll give you a story. I... I can believe that love at first sight. I think that's a legit thing. Um, I I mean, I didn't know a girl at the time, and she was a cheerleader, and we're all up in the stands at a football game, and I'm good friends with her cousin. Looking down, she's kind of looking up at me. Eye contact's made. Blush smile. She walks away type deal. And then after the game, like, who's that? I don't pay her any attention. Next couple days at school, you know, gets to, and then Friday night, you're out on a date. I mean, that's the way it works. So, but you, you were not hopelessly in love, were you? I was not helplessly in love, but doesn't that where it starts? So it's yeah, going to start okay. somewhere. All right, I'll accept that. Tom, I know you've had to, it happens to you once a night. So no, no, no. I don't, I don't have any story like that where it happened to me, but I know for a fact that my father told my mother 11 minutes after meeting her, that we're going to get married within the next three months. And my mother told him he was a crazy, and I won't say what she said to him, but six weeks later they were married and stayed married 22 years. Well, there you go. Can happen. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the let's go. To, Dr. Buddy isn't the expert on everything, but he does know a little bit of life experiences. So I went to the experts to find out. 
an article published in Psychology Today in July 2003 by Dr. Elliot D. Cohen, Ph.D. The idea of love at first sight appears to be somewhat of a misnomer since it cannot reasonably be taken literally. This is because merely seeing someone does not afford a sufficient window into the nature of the person seen. For example, seeing Brad Pitt or Gwyneth Paltrow in their latest flicks is not a basis for loving them. Indeed, the characters sauntering about on the screen are not really the actors themselves. Now this man is in love at the window. My man, my man came back with this ring. He's glove at first sight. And That's that, it. Does my your lady know it? Does your lady know you? She, she, you gonna surprise her? I better not say your name is. So, so that, did you meet her? How long did you? Was she in love right away when you met her the first time? Was it love at first sight? Wow, all love right. At first sight. Yes. All right, my man. Good job. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. That is that's awesome. That's a lot of love he just had. That's that a lot of love. What a ring. That wow. Was a big that was ring. a rock. That was not small. Yeah. Now, that's a good story. That, that all was, the rest of the people who passed by, we don't need you. That was worth it all right. <laughs> that there was a go. lot of love he just walked by nice, with. Nice looking The only man. guy to say that love at first sight was legit comes back with the ring. So I guess something's I guess that working. Works, right. I guess it's working. So just to finish this thought, then we'll talk about that. He says the fans uh, may be sexually attracted to or infected with somebody. The actors, they cannot be said to love them because they don't know them. Now, look, I don't count that. I, I mean, Dr. Cohen, sorry, you ain't no doctor buddy, okay? Because we're going to talk about film. You can sense something about someone special. Now, I have seen that. I have had that feeling myself. When someone walks in a room, you get a little buzz. They go, oh, wait. And, and you know the way they carry themselves, oh, the yeah. way they act, the way they dress, the way they talk, you know, just the way they you know, just, just look very, very elegant, you know? You can tell about people in a short period of time. Now, is that love? I don't know. But you can become very attracted to people, I, I think, right away. I agree with you 100%. It's just the way that they flow and carry it, carry about themselves. There's just something about that. It's well, buddy, in my case, first time I saw my current girlfriend was when I was like three years old in preschool. Oh, wait a minute now. That's a little early. Yes. So <laughs> in my case, no, it's not love at first sight. And when I saw her again a year and a half ago, after being in pre after not seeing her for 12 years, it wasn't love at first sight. I had no. to get to know her. Yeah. But you were attracted, obviously. Of course. There was something about her that I was attracted to. Yeah, for sure. All right, so I'm scratching the story by Stefan's speak because I don't like what he said, but I'm going to give you some information and tweets, and we're going to talk about this. So we're agreeing it is possible to have love at first sight. Dr. Buddy and his panel of, I agree, expert, yes. of love experts, we all right? We just watched a big piece of love walk by. We just watched that guy come up with a great big it has rock, to be nice true. looking gun guy, really good. God, that makes me feel good. You know, good for him. All right. He's the only one that responded. I right, hear a couple of tweets. This is so true. Every girl has three guys in her life. The one she loves, the one she hates, and the one she can't live without. Now, that is true. What if all three of those are the Could same be. guy? Could be, possibly, but probably hey, not. Now, that's a good, that's good but, thinking. Yeah, could happen. Because a lot of times in relationships, you have strong emotions, and at first you just don't like each other. But it evokes an emotion right away. The reason that you don't like them is something about them, they stir you up, and you get anxious. They get under your skin. Right. And that's what women do well, by the way. Oh. They're really good at getting <laughs> no, under your skin. Gotta tell and me that's that. their way of trying to hook you in sometimes. They're getting your attention by making you aggravated. Love at first sight. It works, doesn't it? Yes. She said yes. There you go. All right. So, um, Number two, this is a really important, all right? I know everybody wants to look beautiful. Everybody wants to look gorgeous. They want to be, you know, they want to be like the picture of health and beauty and whatever. It's really overdone, way too much. Unfortunately, this is what causes some of our young girls to starve themselves to death and, you know, become bulimic and all these covers on these magazines. There's two things. Memo to the ladies. This is great stuff here. You will never look like the girl in the magazine the girl in the magazine doesn't even look like the girl in the magazine <laughs> exactly yeah. okay. so that's number two and finally this is from the bottom of Dr. Buddy's heart forget the plastic surgery unless you're trying to attract other men we love you just the way you are exactly. Dr. Buddy feeling good today about the advice, thinking we got some good stuff out well, there today. You know, we had got so many non-responses, and then the save of the of the Hold day. Hold on. Hold on. 
Home run. That's good. I like that. And you know what? He just didn't say it. He sh- he proved it. He said that he believes in love at first sight. Walked in the mall. Come back out and showed us why. We had to s- describe. Rock. He had a box. Opened up the box. Came back to the window. Stood there. I didn't see him. You guys went. And he opened it up. And had a big square ring. Uh, at least a diamond. half inch by half inch Beautiful square. Beautiful diamond ring. Some lucky girl is going to get a great ring. And they, she doesn't know it. Some girl is going to be moved to tears tonight. Uh, word. That was impressive. Maybe not tonight. Maybe not tonight. But yeah. my wife very said, soon. My wife said to me. You know, you never proposed to me. Oh, jeez. Probably not. We just were dating for so long. We just, we just agreed we we're going to get married, and that was it. You know. So, and my wife, and my wife, you know, she makes all the decisions anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. so you no, know, I, I guess I didn't. Somebody pointed out, just texted me and pointed out. Y'all talk about love at first sight. You realize you're talking on the radio; they can't see you. <laughs> well, we don't want them. We don't want them to see us. No, it's not us. No, believe us. We're not talking about us. By the way, you can't see us. Go to wsa.com. You might wish you hadn't, but that's what you can do. You can see us. Don't forget. Log on on your cell phone. wsa.com. We'll wait till you see right here. So, yeah, that's uh the for sure. Somebody so. texted us said, "I believe in unequivocal attraction at first sight. Mm-hmm. I have to know more of the person and how their brain thinks." Physical beauty does not equate to love. You know, we got about 30 seconds, but one of the things I want to say, you believe in love at first sight? Yes, she has to believe in love she at does. first she, sight. She didn't hear me, but my voice is not because I'm happy. Ooh, that? She's happy. Proud, We're happy. <laughs> Coming up on the news. All right. <laughs> Just remember, uh, anyway, we, we love you the way you are. We'll take a break. Come back on the other side of news after this time out on the Voice Bill Column. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOC8, The Soul. Happiness is you. You know, Austin, I'm sitting here at the computer looking at our Facebook page, and boy, we really need to tell more listeners about our Facebook page. No, no, Tom, so you got it all wrong. Twitter is the new age. What's a tweeter? No, a Twitter, Tom. The voice of Ocala has a Twitter. We do? Well, how do we tell our listeners about that? All they have to do is get the Twitter app or go to twitter.com, type in Voice of Ocala in the search box, and click follow. All right, well, uh, what's the tweeter do? The Voice of Ocala's Twitter page updates all of its followers on the latest news, guests, giveaways, and contests. Oh, okay. But... Couldn't listeners just tune in weekdays from 3 to 6 to 1370 AM and 96.3 FM or even go to online at WOCA.com? Wouldn't that be easier? Yeah, okay, maybe. Here in Florida, when you're looking to go to the beach, you've got hundreds of options. Theme parks, no shortage of options there either. But when it comes to home insurance, most companies have only one option. Allstate is different. Here in Florida, Allstate agents offer home insurance options from several companies so they can help you get the coverage that's right for you. And they'll help you save on quality car insurance, too. For starters, safe drivers save 45% with Allstate. So before you settle for just one option, talk to someone with many home and car insurance options. Your local Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? For more information, call the McDonald Agency at 352-622-2333 or visit us online at themcdonaldagency.com. Allstate has no financial responsibility to you for any home insurance policy you purchase and would not be responsible for any claims. Allstate does not make any representations or accept liability related to operations of home insurance companies, including but not limited to their financial conditions. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Savings vary. Ready to go. I'm Pam Puso. Pinpointing the pings heard in the southern Indian Ocean as the search continues for a missing Malaysia Airlines jet. Earlier today, crews engaged in a detailed grid search in military circles. It's called triangulating the target, in this case locating what may be the black boxes. Fox's Catherine Herridge confirming the sound could take days. Another meeting in the works between Secretary of State John Kerry and top diplomats from Russia, Ukraine and the European Union following the seizure of government buildings in eastern Ukraine by pro-Russian activists. Further Russian efforts to destabilize Ukraine will incur further costs for Russia. State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki. With her two kids in the back seat, state police in Maine say a woman was caught driving 123 miles an hour. It took a trooper at least 10 miles to chase her down. Fox News, we report, you decide.
Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. So I knew it was important to have life insurance to protect our family, but I was putting it off. But then yesterday, a girlfriend of mine asked me, point blank, what would happen if you lost your husband? How would you pay the bills? The mortgage, the car payments, food. And that's when it really hit me, and I realized I needed to get us life insurance right now. So I called AIG Direct, and in less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Now just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing the kids and I are protected. And my husband was so happy I got the quote. Save up to 70% when you get term life insurance through AIG Direct. Call now for a free, no obligation quote. It only takes five minutes and you could save up to 70%. 1-800-294-6051. That's 1-800-294-6051. Call 1-800-294-6051. Now is the time to take advantage of Florida Credit Union's CD specials. Our 36-month CD comes in at 1.46% APY. A 24-month is working for you at 1.0% APY. All CD rate specials require $10,000 minimum. With friendly service and rates like these, it's not hard to see why Florida Credit Union has your CD options covered. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Call 352-237-8222 for more information. Must act by 43014. Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223 and pick up your copy of The Senior's Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala downtown newspaper online. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. Swear in Florida. Sunshine mixing with clouds today. Breezy and warm with a shower and thunderstorm around late. The high 83 to 87. Mostly cloudy tonight with a shower and thunderstorm. Those 67 to 71. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, breezy and not as warm with a couple of showers and a heavier thunderstorm crossing the area. The highs ranging from 75 in the northwest part of the zone to 82 in the southeast part. Wednesday, sunshine high 71 to 75. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. So everybody thinks of chicken, particularly fried chicken. For so many years, we thought about the picture of an old gray-haired guy, the colonel. Kentucky Fried Chicken, the KFC. That's still, there's no way that's not the number one chicken seller. That's what we always thought about, the southern gentleman with the white hair, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, guess what? There's a new champion in the chicken business. KFC's longtime chicken crown goes now to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. It's uh, Yum Brands, which owns KFC and has for years prided itself as the leader in the U.S. chicken quick service restaurant segment, took that very segment from the company's most recent annual report. Last year, Chick-fil-A had only about 775 stores to KFC's 4,491, and most of them are in the South. But the new undisputed king is Chick-fil-A. Our friends down at Chick-fil-A, where we go almost every day to pick up a soda or a drink or... Some nuggets. Second, whatever it is we pick up. Uh, Chick-fil-A. And then you, I got a map here. Look at this map. It shows the dominance. Um, and uh, it's uh, the story is, the fact is that each restaurant made about, for Chick-fil-A, made about $3.2 million in 2013. We're in the wrong business. Let's go back out and see our friend. You know what's I need to go talk to JJ and say, what's up? JJ, by the way, at one point had the record for the most breakfast at some point. Not JJ LaSalva either, by the way. We're talking about JJ Williams, so who JJ played football at Georgia three, Southern. If he's playing, making 3.2 mil, 
We got to go talk to him about that advertising. Yeah, we got to go talk to JJ. Yeah. Buddy, you know what's interesting about that is Chick Fil A is in business one less day a week than KFC right. is. Right, that's a good point. Chick Fil A doesn't do anything on Sundays. That's correct. Exactly. Yeah. So meanwhile, KFC fell by two percent. Um, and uh, I, I got to be honest with you, I've never been a huge fan of KFC. I, I that's not what I call Southern fried or Southern chicken. You know, Popeye's is a little over the top. I like the spice, but it's too much. You didn't think KFC was southern fried chicken? No. No, it's just Kentucky fried chicken. It's not the same. Good old Georgia fried chicken. By the way, the very best. Everybody says this, but I can prove it. My mother made the greatest fried chicken in the history of the world. And it was a special recipe. My wife learned to make it, but we don't eat it anymore because we don't eat fried food. That well, you, I, I agree with you 100%. Southern fried chicken and KFC are two entirely well, different chickens. They're not. They're just different. Chick-fil-A is closer to southern fried chicken. Definitely closer, right. yes, it is. So, uh, anyway, so. And, yes, I, I know what southern fried chicken is. Even though I didn't eat chicken on the bone, my mother would take uh, and debone the breast and flour it up and everything and deep yeah. fry it. So I still got to eat southern fried chicken. Chick Fil A was controversial not a couple years ago. What weren't they? Well, they've been through a lot of things <clears throat> on their on their position. Of, uh, I think they had made the. Well, they're very religious. They're a very yeah. spiritual company. Yeah, they have their their religious views are merged with their business views, and that's a dangerous ground to walk on. But I admire and respect them for doing what they say they are. They're not letting that sway their their thinking. It's just like look, I, I don't. I'm not saying that one particular religion is right over the other. I'm a Christian. I'm making secret of that. But I don't like people – if someone has a different religion and they want to display that symbol someplace in their being and whatever, that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. I, w- I told you I visited with Don Garlis recently. Don Garlis told an amazing story about how he was drag racing at a very high level. It's expensive to do that. Get ready for a huge trip out to California. He lost his sponsor, and he landed one, the U.S. Navy, as his sponsor going out to California to have – Right. And so he put his paint job on there, and as he always did, he put a cross up on there. And he showed it to the people in the U.S. Navy and said, you can't use that cross on our on that car. He said, why not? He said, because there's some people who are not Christian. He said, well, then you can keep your money. He went out there without any sponsor, won, won, <laughs> won the event. $100,000. Right. That kept him going. One of many close calls. He's an amazing guy. I uh, really enjoyed I'm going to have him on the show one day. So. Well, that, that's that's talking about not not – you know, exchanging your principles for I money. Mean, be Good for him. Be who you are. I mean, just be who you are. Don't be phony it up and try to be somebody. And if you don't believe the way I do, that's fine. I mean, just, just still, I'm, I don't think he less it because you don't believe what I believe, but I happen to have my views, and I don't wear a whole bunch of crosses around my neck, but, you know, I'm not ashamed to wear a cross. Well, I, um, I, had, a, I had a very difficult weekend this weekend, but the one thing I took out of it is – there were a lot of people who were having as difficult a weekend as I was having. And a lot of the people were very spiritual about what they were going through. And it was just my observation. The people that were spiritually into what was going on seemed to handle it a whole lot better than those who weren't, in my observation. And I also now have a very good understanding of Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. I do have a good, good, good understanding of that I verse. Sure. I didn't think that Tom would be the one talking about scriptures on the right? show. Did you? I was about to mention Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. <laughs> uh, I got a pretty good understanding of that, and I was surprised at how many people at this church we were at when the when the pastor would quote a scripture, they would help be him cited. say the scripture like right. it was in their memory, just like they were a preacher. It's a big thing that people do memorization of scriptures. Right, it's a big thing they do. Uh, although. Our, our preacher, where we go, that said that wasn't necessary to do, do all that stuff, right? With you, but uh, anyway, so there's all kind. Of, look, there's a lot of kind of different kind of religions. There's only one Christian religion. There's you know, there's you know, Judaism. A lot of different some, denominations of Christianity, right? right. Of course, and, and when you go to, it, it's it's amazing thing. Your church is personal to you. How you do it, what your music is, how you act in your church, and you said you had an experience in African American church. I did. It's all highly personal. And some people aren't going to like it. They just aren't going to like the way you do it. You had a good experience, I assume. I did. It was, it was a different experience. One that I was not expecting. It was it was more joyful than I thought it was going to be. Right. Passed away, and, and it was more know. joyful than I thought. Because I'm Catholic, and we go into the incense and the somberness of death and everything. And they, they they were this was not a somber celebration. And first of all, they didn't even call it a a funeral. They called it a going home ceremony. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You know that was the first thing, and. It was just, it was a different 
way and an attitude of doing things, and it was refreshing. I, I, I mean, that was just just different. I'd never seen it done that way. But I, and it was also the first time I ever heard a pastor say that if you uh, how how to get saved and everything, and that. He was the first pastor I ever said that. Don't think I'm trying to get you to come to my church because if a preacher tells you you need to come to his church to get saved, that preacher's a liar and you need to get away from him as quick as you can. Yeah, he got that right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a little the southern preaching is always good for the soul. Okay, Tom, we had a little news on a power plant today. Yeah, there's a. I got a news release that says there's a three new members of the uh, incubator, the power plant business incubator. Um, the additions are going to be. Um, let me see where they are there. Uh, the new incubator reside a recent high school graduate beginning a mobile application company, a group of insurance professionals developing an online benefit portal for small businesses, and a New York transplant who's created a patent pending process which can be employed to curb prescription drug abuse. So there are three different applications that are being used for as startup companies are using the power plant for a mobile applications company, an insurance company, and a... Uh, Invention to try to help you get off prescription drugs. So it's just amazing the opportunities that are afforded at the power plant that is, I guess it's run by the CEP. Is that correct? That's correct. And they're funded by the county. And, and they start so. small businesses. And we know the, we know the success of businesses. Mm -hmm. We know the success of businesses like Ocus, where you and I both have our best websites version, up. Best, best Version Media, media started mm -hmm. there. I mean, it's once again, we talk about how the Silver Springs International Film Festival benefits Ocala. This incubator, we were there on the front lines of that. Remember, we broadcasted live the day they threw the power on at the power plant, right. re-energized the power plant. And it's, it's just th things like that are behind the scenes that are helping the progress of Ocala and Marion County. Well, that's the thing is that people like uh, Austin and Josh, when they get come back and they're ready to start their media company, it's probably too late for Buddy Martin Media to have a – oh, there could be people been around for a while – but that's a place you can go and get reasonable rent, get some help, get advice on financing, get counseling, and go in there and make a go of it and try to get your business started. Right. That's what they call it, incubation. It's like a place where they have eggs, you know, where the eggs break open and the chicks come out and, and life is given. So uh, it's a terrific operation and a terrific organization. Let's go ahead and take our break now because we got a fake factoid coming up here. You guys got to sharpen up your game. That means a win for Tom and Josh and Austin will go I'm down gonna, and defeat. I'm going to make the odds today. Every time you make the odds, I just blow them out of yeah, the water. I'm going to say, Tom, you are a two-to-one choice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that uh, Josh is three-to-one. Austin is five-to-one. Wow. You're the long shot today. Wow. You're like really, so there it is. So I'm saying I'm, I'm not Tom should be more like one-to-eight. I don't want it to end that way. This is just the odds. So Austin – can you handle the pressure? Yeah, I can handle it. The Florida Gators didn't handle it too well. Maybe you can handle it. <laughs> I right? should be like a one to eight, not a two to one. We'll return after this timeout on the Voicebook Out. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're streaming live at WOCA.com. The source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. The Angela State Farm Agency is located at 1122 Northeast 36th Avenue, where visitors are always welcome and the coffee pot is always on. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's 
leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Your official news source, WOCA. Hi, I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller, right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, aisleways, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. W-O-C-A. Time now for America's favorite game, soon to be <clears throat> syndicated along with Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. We'll have to find a proper host, and uh, this will be on national television soon. Emanating right from these studios. I thought I was going to host it. No, no you're not going to host it. You're going to actually be the usher. That's what you're going to be. <clears throat> All right, just see if you can win. Maybe I'll give you a promotion. You can, maybe you get to be one of the stage well, hands. I, if I was going to be an usher, it's probably the restroom usher. That's probably where you're going to put me. Faker of Factoid. Here we go. Listen up. Listen closely now. Eating French fries and adding salt to them is worse for your health than smoking. Fake. 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 Three fakes. Anybody want to change their vote? No. Eating french fries and adding salt is worse than smoking is in fact fake. Yeah. Number two, <clears throat> having no friends can be the same as smoking 15 cigarettes per day. <clears throat> Fact. Yeah, I'm going with Fact. Facts, yeah. Three facts? Yeah. All right, right. here's the third one. I only heard two. <clears throat> Anybody want to change their, uh, their vote? No. I'll change it to fake. You shouldn't have. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> it's fact. Having no friends can be the same as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Got you. <laughs> <clears throat> One miss. He just Number throws three. that lure out there and gets you every time, doesn't well, he? I'm just giving you options. <laughs> just That's all I'm trying to do. Austin like, falls for it all the time, too. Austin has been It's like one out of five that I guess right. <clears throat> Austin, just trust me. That's what he does. That's his mistake. That's his mistake. In this game, don't ever trust me, Austin. Anything else you can trust me in this game. Number three, listen closely. Studies suggests chewing the same flavor of gum while studying 
and take a test can improve your score. So let me get this right. You choose the same flavor while studying and taking the test and yes, it improves your correct. score. correct. Fact. 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 Three facts. Everybody want to say what they got? Austin. <laughs> it's fact. Who would have thought? Number four, in Switzerland, if you fail your driver's license test three times, you have to visit a psychologist to explain why. If not, uh, I'm going to say that's fact because it fact. should be. It's, yeah, fact. <laughs> fact. <laughs> they have to wait till 18 to take them. Three facts? Nobody wants to change, right? Yeah. It's fact. Only one miss so far. You guys are hot today. Number five, you need no license to drive a car in Lapland, but you must have a permit to drive a dog sled. Fact. 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 But I want to change? You should have. It's fake. <clears throat> All right, we got Austin's got two. You guys got Lapland one. Is. Right? No, I have no idea. <laughs> that was a good one, you have to admit. That was a good one. That was a good one, man. All right, here we go to round two. Fake or a factoid, soon to be syndicated on national television. Not sure when, but sometime. Number one, presbyopia oh, I hate the is opiates. the weakening of eyesight due to age. Presbyopia is the weakening of eyesight due to age. Fact. See, that's the thing. You guys are wearing glasses, and he wears contacts. I've been wearing glasses since I was in sixth grade. Mm. Uh, fact. Fact. Three facts? Austin said fact. Do I want to change? <clears throat> it's fact. Number two, Phrygian Sophiopia oh my is Lord. the fear that using your cell phone is damaging your brain. Fake. That seems crazy enough to be true. Fact. Uh, fake. Tom says fake. Austin says fake. I say fact. Say fact. Josh is correct. It is fact. Austin's out. Austin's out. out. That's why you're five to one. There you go. Your odds are right. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. How many you got, Tom? Two. I got right, one. Here we go. Right. Correct. <clears throat> number three. The bad news is I don't have a number for you today, so it's going to be the end of the time if it does. Oh, no. You yeah, can't shortchange me like that. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Just, well, I'll man, figure something out. This is my chance. I'll, I'll figure out something. If you win, you win. I'm like UConn right now. Chocolopayitis. C O C H O L O P I A D I T I S is fear of eating too much chocolate. Fake. Fake. Yeah, fake. Anybody want to change? Yeah, I'll go with fact. You shouldn't have. Well, but I, it's the only way I can tie Josh. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we don't need the number. You win today, Josh. I win the odds. You win. All right. You're, Thanks, what, Tom. what were your odds again? You were the second favorite, weren't you? Tom goes down in a blaze of glory. Well, I went down today. anyway because the only way I could tie him was to tie him. He says now he was doubling down. I was. was. Doubling down. Anyway, you What's wouldn't have won. You wouldn't have won. April 7th. Mark it down. There we go. When he says First he's won the last 10 time. in a row, be sure you bring his date up, all right? That was going to be like around the horn. I get my 30 seconds. Good job. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you want, go ahead. you got 10 seconds. Hit my go. sponsors. Uh, <laughs> new book coming out. <laughs> Broadway play soon opening is, uh, is, is Joshua LaSalle. LaSalle, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Bill Barr. Appreciate that. Uh, he's a nice guy. Bill did a good job. All right. That wraps up Power 2. Did you watch the game on Saturday night? Half there were three them. different channels, and none of them were CBS. It threw me for a couple of moments there at first. Probably threw you, too. A lot of people didn't like it, including Charles Barkley. Stay tuned, buddy. Sports Space coming up next. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Soul. It was Texas. And you taught me how to say. We are stuck with aging inventory that's got to go. Are you stuck too? Driving in an old car you hate? This month, if you help me, I'll help you get unstuck from your old ride so you can drive a nicer, newer car today. Chris Spears here from Prestige Auto Sales. I can help you break free from that old car you hate. Here's how. One, bring me in your old ride, and even if you're still making payments, Two, based on the sale price of the car you choose, I'll give you up to $4,075 more than the appraised value of your old car. And three, choose any nicer, newer car for my specially priced, gotta-go inventory. Easy breezy. Are you feeling stuck with bad credit muck? 
Our For The People credit approval process will work hard to unglue you from your bad credit luck. So bring me in your old ride, and based on the sale price of the nicer, newer car you choose, I'll give you up to $4,075 more than the appraised value of your old car. But come quick. This offer won't stick around for long. I'm Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit Prestige Auto Sales or call 694-1234. Yes, 694-1234. See you at Prestige. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, the new old-fashioned bank. Let us introduce you to OKUS, a simple way to bring your business online. Through this relationship, your business can have a fully functioning website in less than 30 minutes. We will also provide you support with social media, sales tracking, e-commerce, and online scheduling, which is all optimized for mobile users. OKUS, now at Gateway Bank, Silver Springs Boulevard, Ocala. Come visit our technology center for your total small business solution. I'm Tom Ingram, and I'll see you there. Are you in the process of planning your wedding reception? Are you planning that birthday party for someone special? Or maybe you're just looking to throw a party for yourself. Are you in charge of this year's company outing and looking for something fresh and fun to do? Well, KT Entertainment is your answer to all those questions. We provide music, trivia, and karaoke for everybody's enjoyment. If you would like to get in touch with KT Entertainment and find out about our competitive prices, call us at 352-512-2611. That's 352-512-2611. Or you can find us on the web at kt4fun.com. That's KT, the number four, fun.com. So remember, whether it's a wedding reception, a party, or a company outing, it's KT Entertainment for all your karaoke, trivia, or musical needs. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pest Control, you probably are. Turner Pest Control offers the industry's only termite and pest control package that never charges retreat fees, ever. You can get started today for only $99. This is a value of $500 or more. This includes treatments, installation of monitoring stations, quarterly pest control, and a lifetime guarantee, all for an unbelievable low $99. Even if you have another pest control provider, visit turnerpest.com to find out how you can avoid paying those high termite retreat fees. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. The average adult takes only half of the recommended 10,000 steps a day we need to stay healthy. More than one out of four plastic surgery patients, recently divorced women, and one in ten are newly single men. And their main reason for going under the knife is to improve their appearance and show their ex what they're missing. People who are watching their weight are more likely to pick foods that sound healthier. But health-wise, they're pretty much interchangeable. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Restore at 926 Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give us a call at 401-0075 and we'll come pick it up. For more information, visit ocalarestore.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community garden and we've got a show for you called you've got a garden with your host master gardener carol ann baldwin carol ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies your grass your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on woca so don't miss carol ann baldwin and you've got a garden each tuesday from 9 a.m to 10 a.m right here on woca the source Hey, you guys, this is Lou. And if you don't want to be a dirty little bite sitting on a crib eating dirty white wines, you better head on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs. They got the best, the juiciest, tastiest char-grilled hot dogs, burgers, solid filet of fish and chicken, and 90% fat-free pulled pork barbecue that's a little sweet and a little spicy. You know, Dairy Queen doesn't use processed and formed junk like the competition. So come on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs, home of the real five-buck lunch. W-O-C-A. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. 30 pieces of evidence as officials investigate last week's shooting spree. We can confirm that the alleged shooter, Specialist Ivan Lopez, was involved 
in a verbal altercation concerning his request for leave. Chris Gray with the Army's Criminal Investigation Command. We believe the subject fired more than 35 rounds of 45 caliber ball ammunition. Officials say Yvonne Lopez killed three soldiers before taking his own life. 16 others were hurt. Crawling across the southeast, dangerous storms dumping heavy rain. Six to seven inches in parts of Mississippi and Alabama. This is an area that is not drought stricken. They don't need the moisture and it just continues. Fox meteorologist Janice Dean, the storms moving north and east. Big losses on Wall Street. The Dow off 167. Fox News, we report, you decide. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. So I knew it was important to have life insurance to protect our family, but I was putting it off. But then yesterday, a girlfriend of mine asked me, point blank, what would happen if you lost your husband? How would you pay the bills? The mortgage? The car payments? Food? And that's when it really hit me, and I realized I needed to get us life insurance. Right now. So I called AIG Direct, and in less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Now just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing the kids and I are protected. And my husband was so happy I got the quote. Save up to 70% when you get term life insurance through AIG Direct. Call now for a free, no obligation quote. It only takes five minutes and you could save up to 70%. 1-800-294-6051. That's 1-800-294-6051. Call 1-800-294-6051. How much time? 30. 30 seconds. I'm on right now. I don't believe you. Okay, okay. Enough kidding around. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. And now it's time for the Buddy Martin Buddy Sports Bay. He actually had me stay here last night in his gym. It's like I don't fit in. It's like I don't belong here. Let's go talk to a couple of guys that never gamble. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. Did Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time? He didn't think we could do it. Gambling is illegal at Bushwood, sir, and I never slice. And now, here's Buddy. Welcome to Final Four Monday. Tonight, the Yukon Huskies and the Kentucky Wildcats, a seventh and eighth seed, play for the National Championship of Basketball. I don't have to tell you Gator fans what happened on Saturday night. Suffice to say, it was like playing Nebraska in football. I'm watching Dancing with the Stars. Maybe not. Maybe not the – well, that's that suits your – personality more. You're more of a dancer than an athlete anyway, so that's good. So maybe not the total collapse in the Fiesta Bowl in 1996 like Florida did to Nebraska when they won. Mm. It lost like 62 to whatever, 21, whatever it was. But the same principle, because what happened to the Florida Gators, the bottom dropped out. You can have a bad game having it in the semifinals the national championship is not the time to have it. And it was the worst game Florida played all year. Having said that, full credit to UConn. Without a doubt, they deserve to win that. <clears throat> I'm just shocked at the way it happened. <clears throat> Talking to a friend of mine who's very close to the program in Gainesville today, this morning. It's just, it was so hard to see it all come apart before your very eyes. Because this basketball team all year long, had been on a high wire. If you remember the games, they barely seemed like they would just come back the last three minutes. It was always Scotty Wilbicom with the ball with six minutes to go. They were up by two. They won by ten. Won by seven. Won by eight. Same way the tournament. All the way through Albany. It was just it looked like it was they were struggle, but they always managed to get it done. And so you think, okay, the game is on. Florida didn't get the walk off shot that Wilbican gives them usually before the halftime. He missed that shot. Florida down by three and a half. UConn takes over. What a tremendous response by UConn when Florida was up 16-4. to four. That's the team I thought was going to show up. Austin, I predicted Florida would win by 10 points. I thought to myself, you know what? The first few minutes, 
I might have been too conservative in this because it was total domination by Florida. And all of a sudden, Daniels, was it, started hitting the three-pointers, hit three in a row, and, and or hit two, and then uh, I believe Napier hit one. Next thing you know, it's a one-point game, and UConn's ahead, and then UConn goes up by three. And you thought, okay, well, you know they're going to go into halftime and adjust. Never happened. Something happened to that team that's never happened before because I think they got their burble, bur- burble, the bubble burst and that they realized that they were in trouble, and they panicked. Scotty Wilbekin was not Scotty Wilbekin. He had nowhere to go with the ball. Michael Frazier, after hitting a three to open the game, totally disappeared. When Patrick Young tried to be the hero, he kept going inside. I think he went one for four and then uh, from, from the field and one for five from the strike the early on. Patrick can't win a game for you. Not his fault. Who will step up when there's not a Scotty Wilbekin? And the answer to that is clearly nobody. Yeah, and I think that the start that Florida had was probably the worst thing. Although they jumped out to what a sixteen to four lead, it's probably the worst thing that could happen to them because for that first eight minutes, they looked like they were going to win by twelve points, fourteen points, like you said, buddy. But Connecticut came back, and Florida just honestly looked like they had used all their energy for their entire game in that first eight minutes and had no response to basically anything Connecticut was doing on the offensive end and couldn't get any offense going on their offensive end. Now I'm not going to sit here and criticize Billy Donovan. Because what he did at Florida this year was remarkable. I think he did his best coaching job ever. It's a shame he had to end this way. Would you rather you lose this way or lose the way Wisconsin did, who played well enough to win that game? There's, like Billy Donovan said, there's no easy way to exit at this point in time in the tournament. Look back at Duke and Mercer. It wasn't very easy then either. But I give him full credit. A wonderful run, 31, 30 games in a row. <clears throat> um, 36 wins of the year, and uh, they played like champions, except they ran up against a team they couldn't beat, a team that they had lost to by only a point on the road December 2nd, and Frank, frankly, I said then, I'll say now, it was a fluke when they lost up in Storrs, Connecticut. This Wait. game was no fluke. They dominated. They won. I still don't understand how the guards cut through that Florida defense like it was hot butter, and, and, and couldn't they could not stop. Boatwright and Napier, and that that it that really was their downfall. One thing that stood out to me, and you said the guards cut through their defense. Florida's offensive pressure, we talked about all season long. Their full court pressure to get up in your in your shorts, and and it kind of wears down the offensive guards, the other team. That didn't happen against Connecticut. Connecticut just seemed like going through that press was nothing. And they didn't wear them out. They didn't wear out them mentally or physically. And by the time they got in the half-court set, Connecticut was already on the attack, and Florida was kind of on their heels already before they could even get their defensive set. We'll talk about this more later on the show. But Franz Beard will be on. But there was a point where Florida had some non-scorers on the floor. They went lost on an 11-0 run. UConn did. It really hurt Florida at that point in time. Uh, Kevin Ollie was brilliant in his coaching. Uh, maybe, I don't know if he deserved to be called the next John Wooden, but some of the announcers did. But uh, he, he did, his strategy to go to three guards was brilliant. That paid dividends. Anyway, we'll talk more basketball tonight. It's Kentucky, UConn. And we'll talk about the three different networks. If you watched any of those, one was the UConn channel, one was the Florida channel, one was the normal crew from who would normally be on CBS on TNT. We'll have a discuss that. But right now it's time to go to the headlines and see what's up with the sports news, Austin. Well, the top headline of the day is dealing with college basketball. Manhattan has decided to retain their coach, Steve Masiello, who would have gone to USF. Uh, they, Manhattan will reinstate him once Wanted he completes. Wanted to go, but couldn't because he, had a, he, he signed a wrong. He, he lied on his, on his uh, resume. resume. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are they going to let him get a degree at Manhattan while he coaches? Yes. That part of his pay structure now? Yes, they will reinstate him once he completes his undergraduate. First course, how to write a resume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Masiello will be placed on unpaid leave until he completes his undergraduate degree um, at Kentucky. Next headline, Larry Brown, former coach of the Knicks, has come out in defense of current coach of the Knicks, Mike Woodson, and is criticizing the Knicks organization and how they've handled Mike Woodson. He basically said, of Brown said of Woodson, he's out on a limb that's, and that's not fair for, for a guy that really turned that franchise around and made people proud of the way they played. I don't think he's been treated fairly, and that really bothers me. Uh, the Knicks have obviously underperformed this season, started 3-13, and and uh, probably words. going to miss the playoffs. Two names, Phil Jackson, Mello. Okay, forget about it, right anybody else. They're who run the team, so. Right. And uh, I think I think a lot of changes are going to come with Phil Jackson at the helm. Obviously, you won't see a lot of changes this season, but I think 
you'll see some com- coming soon. Speaking of the NBA, fifth year Timberwolves forward Dante Cunningham in the news for not so good things because he sent threatening messages to a woman he was living with that quote unquote rose to a terroristic level. Police say they received a call from the woman that was with Cunningham early morning hours Sunday saying that Cunningham had vo- violated a protection order by contacting her and when an officer arrived and reviewed the, reviewed the messages they were direct and rose to a terroristic level obviously this is not good Cunningham probably will not play for the Timberwolves anytime soon and we were speaking of the race that was going on that seemed like they w- it went on forever NASCAR yes race. at Fort Worth Texas well Joey Logano won and uh, he made a last lap pass of Jeff Gordon during extra laps um, today, after late caution and a rain delayed race, and uh, Joe Logano becomes the seventh diff- different winner in as many Sprint Cup races this season. All over the place in there, Oscar. All right, coming up next, we're going to talk Masters with Ron Syrak, managing editor of Golf World, and we'll talk about golf yesterday. Matt Jones, 42 yard chip in. Also, we'll talk about the Masters field, and you always wonder what happened to those green jackets, where they go, and how much they cost. We'll get that information from Ron Syrak as well. Coming up next, right here on Buddy Sports Page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, streaming live at WOCA.com. Hey, and if you want to be part of the conversation, you can do so by texting us, 352-507-5352. Text us at 352-507-5352 on The Source. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, the new old-fashioned bank. Let us introduce you to OKUS, a simple way to bring your business online. Through this relationship, your business can have a fully functioning website in less than 30 minutes. We will also provide you support with social media, sales tracking, e-commerce, and online scheduling, which is all optimized for mobile users. OKUS, now at Gateway Bank, Silver Springs Boulevard, Ocala. Come visit our technology center for your total small business solution. I'm Tom Ingram, and I'll see you there. Men, do you know your testosterone level? Are you experiencing decreased energy levels or unusual sleeping problems? Have you noticed you have less strength or endurance, decreased sex drive, increased irritability or depression? If so, you may be experiencing problems with low testosterone. If you're interested in a free testosterone screening, please call Renstar Medical Research at 352-629-5800. Again, that number is 352-629-5800. Hi, this is Tom Schmitz of the Voice of Ocala, heard daily on these airwaves from 3 to 6 p.m. People always come up and ask me, is Buddy Martin really a nice guy to work with? And I always tell them, sure, he's one of the nicest guys you could ever meet. It's a pleasure working with Buddy every day. It's almost like no work at all. Is Did that sound believable? I mean, uh, wait, is, is, this, what, is this still on? <laughs> Hi, it's Lisa Midget, owner of the brand new Proper Tea Salon. It's a perfect time to freshen up your cut and color for the new year. And if you really want to change up your look, talk to us about Hot Heads extensions for extra volume and length. How about a blowout for date night? Give us a call. Enjoy some me time while you relax in our newly renovated salon and check in on Facebook using our free Wi-Fi. We know you'll be happy with your new look. We guarantee it. Our style guarantee assures you that no matter what, you will love your hair or we will fix it for free. Call for your appointment today, 352-351-1771. We're located in downtown Ocala next to the Southside Deli. Tell us Buddy sent you for 20% off your first service visit. Now hiring licensed cosmetologists, nail techs, and front desk staff. Visit our website, thepropertees.com, for our online application. The Properties Salon, timeless elegance meets classic sex. Hi, Robin. You look tired. I am. I've been running all over town. Why? Why not drive? I need to get this stupid document notarized. Oh, that's easy. You need personal service. Duh. That's what I've been looking for. You need to go see Mark at the Personal Service Center. He can notarize that for you, make copies, fax it wherever, or send it out in the mail. Heck, he can even scan it and email it for you. Really? Where is he at? 2375 Northeast 25th Avenue, on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street. You can call him at 789-6683. Personal Service Center. Thanks, Larry. 
Now is the time to take advantage of Florida Credit Union's CD specials. Our 36-month CD comes in at 1.46% APY. A 24-month is working for you at 1.0% APY. All CD rate specials require $10,000 minimum. With friendly service and rates like these, it's not hard to see why Florida Credit Union has your CD options covered. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Call 352-237-8222 for more information. Must act by 43014. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to sticker shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting less proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. News Talk 1370, WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information-hungry, better-educated, high-income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732-8000. 732-8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370, WOCA. Back at my sports page. As a sports writer or a writer, if you cover all sports, <clears throat> this is one of the great doubles that you ever could do, if you're a columnist especially. And tonight we'll be covering the Final Four game and getting on an airplane from Texas and flying across the country to Augusta for the, the Masters Golf Tournament. Or you could do what some people do and just go to the Masters and stay there all week long and enjoy all that it has to offer. It's almost mystical an experience, the Masters, and young sports writers learn at a very young age. This is a beat. This is an assignment you want to get. I was told at a very young age by Evan Pope, you got to go to the Masters. So at age 27, I went to my first one. And since that time, I can't lost count, but somewhere in around the 35 Masters count, um, mine ended a couple of years ago, but I still enjoy watching it. I love all there is about it. And I especially love reading about it, especially someone as knowledgeable as our next guest, Ron Syrak, executive editor of Golf World and contributor to Golf Digest, joins us on the program again. And Ron, thanks for joining us once again. Hey, thanks for having me on. My last NCAA Masters double was 1995, mm. and it was doing the uh, traveling from the Seattle NCAA championship game to Augusta. It made me decide you know what, it's time to just pick one or the other, and I pick the Masters. <laughs> and then you got baseball season starting in, in those days at the same time, remember? You would, when yep. it's early Eastern, you have all that going on. But <clears throat> it's wonderful. And I don't know, maybe you could – I asked you last time you were on, what is the Masters? I thought, maybe I didn't. I asked Tim Roosevelt, and I asked uh, – um, uh, who else did we have on last week? Bob Herrick, what is the Masters? And I'm just asking you the same question. What is the Masters? Well, I think the thing that really separates it from, from all the other major championships, it's the only one played on the same golf course every year. So even though the faces of the, of the contenders can change over time, the golf course is as big a part of the story uh, uh, as, as any individual is. And, and it's the one constant that's been here since 1934. Uh, you know, the fans know when we swing the back nine, the fans know what holes what holes to anticipate out there. And this is also a golf course where you can be four behind going to the back nine, and you're still in the golf tournament because there's strokes to be gained back there and strokes to lose. Help me out with this. And your friend of mine, Dan Jenkins, always says two things I remember at the Masters that have stuck with me. One was the Masters begins in, at uh, the 10th hole on Sunday at the turn. And the other thing is he's, when asked – uh, what's the uh, most used phrase in writing for Golf Digest? He always said, earlier in the week, comma. <laughs> and I say, of course, as a magazine writer, you would appreciate that, how those stories are written. But refresh my memory. I think, didn't Tiger, what did he hit 40 after his first nine holes on his first Masters as a pro? 
Absolutely. He was playing with Nick Faldo. I, I walked that nine with him. I walked that the whole day with him, and he shot 40 on the front nine, 30 on the back nine. And, and consider this, at age 21, he won the Masters by 12 strokes and had shot 40 in his first nine holes. That's how remarkable he played those last 63. We come to appreciate those feats even more now that he's out not being able to play. <clears throat> Describe the experience over the years. I mean, you walk in the gate, it's like a time warp. You go in there, you, of course, we all know about the palmetto cheese sandwich and stuff, but it's the sounds of the Masters. They're so special. And for someone going there the first time, you don't appreciate it. When you go back to your third and fourth time, you can hear down in the Dells, down around 16, you can hear the way the crowd roars, who made the shot, can't you? Yeah, it's it's the sights and the sounds, and and um, you know the one thing that you don't really get watching on TV. Although high def TV helps helps a little bit, but you don't really appreciate the contours and how hilly this golf course is, and it's that combination of the of the deep valleys back out in the back nine and those tall Georgia pines that make the noises so special. You know a Jack Nicklaus birdie. You know a Jack Nicklaus eagle. You know now a, a, a Tiger Woods or a Phil Mickelson when they're making a charge. And you can just hear a roar coming from a part of the golf course, look at your pairing sheet, and figure out who was over there. And um, I, I don't know of any, any, any venue where, where the sound plays as big of a role as it does here. I don't know what it sounds like for, who is it, uh, for was it Matt Jones, who chipped in yesterday, was it? Uh, 40, yeah. I don't know what that sounds like exactly. Uh, I'm sure we can recognize probably a Phil Mickelson, maybe an Adam Scott, but the question is, Will there be a new face that wear a green jacket this weekend? I think that's a great question. I, you know, I, I, a couple of weeks ago when Patrick Reed said he's one of the five best players uh, in the world right now, I thought about it and I thought, well, you know, that's true insofar as there's about 20 guys who could say they're one of the five best players in the world. Um, we're, we're into an, an interesting uh, era of sort of NFL-like parody in, in pro golf right now. And there's a lot of guys scrambling out there and no clear number one, particularly with, with Tag or Hurt. Um, last year, we had three first-time winners in the majors. Adam Scott here, Justin Rose, U.S. Open, Jason Duffner at, at the PGA. And I think they were all deserving, deserving major winners. And I would not be surprised if any of them wins another major. I, I think we might get another first-time winner here this year, and uh, I think there's several really good candidates out there to, to be that guy. Well, it may be time to start passing that torch with Tiger's physical being and those this and going over that whole scenario with his injury again and whether he's going to win again, et cetera, et cetera, because right now that issue is not in play. It's about a whole other set of players, and it's about the Masters. Is there a place that you go on Sunday – uh, besides in front of the TV, which is where you have to be to watch the Masters, or a ritual you have that you've established after all these years. How many years have you been going, Ron? This is uh, 27. After your 27, yeah. after your, your 26 yeah. previous ones, is, will there be a ritual for you this weekend as you cover the, the last two days of the Masters? Well, one of the things that I like to do uh, on the weekends, and particularly on Sunday, is I, I go out early, way before any of the leaders are going to go out, and just walk uh, uh, as much of the golf course as I can just to see how it's set up and where, and where stuff is. But then I like to go out with, with a group that's, that's mm, maybe four or five groups from the end and start to walk with them because uh, I think that one of the keys of this golf course is to get to the 8T even par. I think the first seven holes in this golf course are really difficult holes. And, and, and if you can get to the 8T even par, uh, then there's a lot of scoring opportunities ahead of you. Um, when you get into that situation where there's a lot of people in contention, the back nine on Sunday, pretty much the only place you can be is, is in the media center watching on TV because you can't be on the golf course and be in more than one place at the same time. All right, let's talk about names. I mean, you can pull them out of a hat, whether Adam Scott will repeat, uh, whether any of the newcomers will step up and a rookie will win it again. It's been a long time since that's happened. Can the Europeans do it? I have one person, I think it might have been oh, a local golfer here, picked up. Uh, I, I think Matt Kuchar is a good pick. Unfortunately, things didn't turn out well for him, but he's hitting the ball straight. He's rolling the ball good. Matt Kuchar sounds like a good pick. I'm going to throw a name out there that kind of ebbs and flows. A European we haven't heard from much, but it will be a very popular win, I think, for most people. Graham McDowell, certainly capable of winning in this golf tournament. 
he absolutely is, and he and he would be a hugely he would be a hugely popular uh, uh, winner here. Um, I, you know, I, I look at the guys who who don't have major championships who I think have a chance here this week. Uh, about ten years ago, I was picking Heinrich Stenson every year here because I thought he had the perfect game for you. Hits the ball long, hits it high, and he sort of has fallen off the map twice. But middle of last year, he reemerged again. So I I, I look at him as a contender. Uh, Jason Day says he's healthy and that his wrist is okay. If that's true, he's always played this golf course well. I like Kucher, like you said. Uh, um, I, I think that uh, Snedeker's a guy who's who's been struggling a little bit this year, but uh, he's somebody I expect to win a major championship at some time. Jason Day's a good pick. Guy's got a lot of game. He's due too, <clears throat> I think. And it's always good to visit with you. <clears throat> you're going. You're out west. You're going to fly back to Augusta when tomorrow. No, I'm I'm in Augusta now. Oh, you're I, there I now. Was, uh, yeah, I left the um, I left the uh, the Dinah Shore early so that I could mm. be here for your, that uh, drive chip and putt contest they had here uh, yesterday with uh, had 88 of the junior golfers here in that competition, and uh, that was a really really special thing to watch. That's a good thing they did there. Things have changed a bit, good bit at Augusta. Not quite as tough as it used to be. But uh, well, say hello to Amen Corner for me, will you? And I'll be watching on TV and looking for your stuff and uh, online to read and in the magazine. Robbie, appreciate your time. You got to talk to you later, bud. All right, Rod Sarag, Jason Day, good pick. And um, I'm not a high extension guy, but he's got game. You guys got a pick? Um, I will hold you to it. We'll talk about it later, do we? I, you know. You always got to go with just because he played well in the Houston Open for a couple days and everything, and if he can keep his oblique muscling good, he knows the course better than anybody else playing it. Phil Mickelson, you know. Steve Albright likes Matt Kuchar. That's a good pick, I thought. And I like a little bit about Graham McDowell, but I'm going to re- rethink my – I'm going to make my pick on Wednesday of the show. But Yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to make. Uh, McElroy, you got to fa- think about how he's playing. And be honest with you, I didn't get a chance to watch much golf this weekend with the film festival, so I haven't really studied him very much the last couple of uh, – Last couple of tournaments. So this is, as far as I'm concerned, the start of the golf tournament, the golf season. No offense to the Florida swing, but this is the start of the golf tournament. I still wish they had the Players Championship this week. I think it's, it, was, it was great to have the you know, to have that the week or two weeks before the the the, the Masters and, and I think instead of the Houston Open instead of the Houston Open exactly. So, but anyway, that's the way it is, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing how the course looks and all the flora and the fauna of the beautiful Augusta. Uh, national and of course it was at once time a, a nursery as we all know where beautiful flowers grew and still do so if you ever have a chance to go one time by hook or crook although it's expensive for tickets check out Augusta it is transcending of sports we'll take a break we'll come back we'll kick around some more items we'll talk a little more about Florida and the loss to the um, Huskies and talk about tonight's game right here on the Voice Book Out of Buddy Sports page 1370 AM 96.3 FM WOCA the source. Hi, this is Tom Schmitz, the host of the Saturday Sports Page on WOCA. The Saturday Sports Page is your weekend destination for everything sports, from NASCAR to golf, baseball to boxing, and of course, the best, most comprehensive football coverage on the radio. Also, you don't want to miss my weekly, are you kidding me, rant? So join me, Austin Tapman, and Josh LaSalva every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for the Saturday Sports Page on WOCA, The Source. Whenever something big happens in Ocala and Marion County, Buddy Martin is there on the case. Your friend and my friend, Evan Pope, has covered every Super Bowl. Sadly, he won't be able to. His string will be broken this year. I know you know Evan only for a long time. A lot of people talking about how what a terrific sports writer he was and, and what a good guy. And uh, I hate to see him not being part of the writing game anymore. I know you do, too. Yeah, Edwin's one of the best. And, of course, uh, our friend Tom McEwen was uh, – one of my favorite sports writers. You're probably second, buddy, but Tom McEwen, <laughs> he did a lot for me. I think he got me. He, he helped get me my first head coaching yeah. job down there at the Tampa Bay Bandits. And then, of course, I've known you way back since I played in Florida also. And uh, Well, I Coach, I never got you a job. Him. I never got you a job, but I did write a no, column. you never got me a job. And, uh, <laughs> but you didn't get me fired anywhere either. So remember, always check out Buddy Martin on The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source.
Mayhem is everywhere. I'm the football your buddy fired through your windshield. The cooler that tumbled out of a pickup and onto the hood of your car. If you're a football fan, eventually we're going to meet. So get all state. Where agents help keep you protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. Are you in good hands? Hey, this is Kevin McDonald, your local Allstate agent. Call me at 622-2333, and let's make sure you're in good hands. Fox News Radio, I'm Pam Husso. Collected at Fort Hood, more than 230 pieces of evidence as officials investigate last week's shooting spree. We can confirm that the alleged shooter, Specialist Ivan Lopez, was involved and a verbal altercation concerning his request for leave. Chris Gray with the Army's Criminal Investigation Command. We believe the subject fired more than 35 rounds of 45 caliber ball ammunition. Officials say Ivan Lopez killed three soldiers before taking his own life. 16 others were hurt. Crawling across the southeast, dangerous storms dumping heavy rain. Six to seven inches in parts of Mississippi and Alabama. This is an area that is not drought stricken. They don't need the moisture and it just continues Fox meteorologist Janice Dean, the storms moving north and east. Big losses on Wall Street, the Dow off 167. Fox News, we report, you decide. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. So I knew it was important to have life insurance to protect our family, but I was putting it off. But then yesterday, a girlfriend of mine asked me, point blank, What would happen if you lost your husband? How would you pay the bills? The mortgage, the car payments, food. And that's when it really hit me and I realized I needed to get us life insurance right now. So I called AIG Direct and in less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Now just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing the kids and I are protected. And my husband was so happy I got the quote. Save up to 70% when you get term life insurance through AIG Direct. Call now for a free, no obligation quote. It only takes five minutes and you could save up to 70%. 1-800-294-6051. That's 1-800-294-6051. Call 1-800-294-6051. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, aisleways, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. On the next day of Ocala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Randy Lewis. He's an advocate for people with disabilities and the father of a child with autism. He's coming on to speak to us about his book, No Greatness Without Goodness, How a Father's Love Changed a Company and Sparked a Movement. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. Carol Ann Baldwin will be in the studio to answer your questions about your lawns and your gardens on her show, You've Got a Garden. Joe Reichel will be in the studio from Damage Control. Have all of your disaster restoration questions answered, your one-stop solution for damage recovery services. And then Torsten Colland is coming on, the CEO and co-founder of You Noodle, coming on to speak about ways to unearth the next generation of entrepreneurs. Sue Owens-Wright is an award-winning newspaper columnist, and she's been honored by the Humane Society of the United States. She'll be on the air with her book, Braced for Murder, a beanie and cruiser mystery novel. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live, right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller, right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Back to the program. I mentioned the Green Jackets earlier, and someone told me they read this in Parade Magazine. And I guess it was Gerald Ergel about how buying you, you get to keep the Green Jacket, and of course the whole everybody knows knows the Masters. The Green Jacket hangs at you know at, at, at Augusta National for you, 
and they, they estimate your size. They have sizes ready for, for the ceremony. Then they have one tailored for you, and you're allowed to keep the, to have the jacket for a year. And you bring it back to Augusta, and that green jacket stays in, in the locker there for you. So that's the story. That's why one sold, and then Augusta tried to sue to get it back. One sold on eBay two years ago for over a million dollars. And Augusta said, how'd they get out? I got the number someplace, and I, I think I don't think it was a million, but it was close. It was a lot of money. And they only cost $250 to make, by the way. So. But they wanted to know how it got out. Yeah, well, there you go. That's, uh, that's a good question. So anyway, so speaking of golf, we had some golf activities around here this weekend. We had uh, the NGA Pro Golf Tour uh, at the Ocala National uh, took place this weekend. Tyson Alexander. Fired Alexander. Well, now, that name sounds well, familiar. Well, it may. He that's fired my sixty-eight. Name. Yeah, that's why it sounds familiar no. to you, probably. He fired rounds of 68, 69, 69 to sixty-six. But the biggest shot of the day on seventeen, all tied on the par four seventeenth from the fairway. He hit a shot from one hundred and forty-seven yards. Bounced twice. Nothing but the bottom of the cup for eagle. Take a two-stroke lead. One to go. Tyson Alexander. The reason that name sounds familiar to you, buddy, is not because of your nephew, Ale- your, your grandson, Alexander. He's a former Gator golfer, Tyson Alexander. But that's not why it even sounds familiar there. Because I'm sure you're not a, I'm sure you don't follow Gator golf like you do Gator basketball. I had to look Matt Every up, make sure I knew who he was. Right. But you know who Buddy Alexander is. Yeah, he's the golf coach at Florida. And Tyson Alexander is his son. So Florida coach Buddy Alexander's son wins the uh, this weekend's NGA Tour stop here in Ocala uh, with a score of 16 under uh, so for his second win on the NGA Tour. So, you know, almost a hometown boy wins the uh, hometown tournament. Not as exciting as when Ted Potter won it, but pretty close for Gator fans. Yep. And uh, like I say, he, Ted Potter won out there for sure. Three years ago, Ted Potter won. A lot of chipping in going on. And I thought I was shocked, Matt Kuchar. I fell asleep the last couple of holes and woke up and realized Matt Kuchar did not win the Houston Open, the Shell Open. Wait, Matt Kuchar didn't win? Yeah. <laughs> no. There was an amazing chip shot, and my computer just shut down on me. What was the Australian's name? Nah, Matt I can't. Jones. Matt Jones from Australia. Who will? Yard chip in. By the way, did – Punch his ticket for the Masters with this win at the Shell Houston Open. And the amazing thing is, buddy, he's 42 yards out. He's got to go over a bunker and everything. And he tells, what's he tell his caddy? I'm going to make this. From 42 yards out, he tells his caddy, I'm going to make this. And then makes it. To win in a playoff against Matt Kuchar. Couple of What's Kuchar thinking? Because that's two weeks in a row. I know. He's had a tough time. He's, uh, I think his game's in good shape, though. He's the kind of guy that can handle it. I think he'll go to Augusta and acquit himself. I'm not saying he'll win. He'll be in the hunt. I can promise you if that. If he wins at Augusta, being a be Georgia huge. boy and everything. Uh, uh, I remember he played as an amateur. Uh, he, he went to amateur. Georgia Tech. Yeah, the amateur. I remember I was at the Masters when he won. His dad was handing out his insurance cards all over Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you, because I don't know. But the amateurs don't get a green jacket, but they do get something. Don't, don't they have, get a plate or a medal? Oh, that's what it is, a medal. Yeah, of course, uh, the amateur champion gets to stay in the crow's nest. Really? Is, that's up at the top of the building. You know, the amateur champ gets to stay there and in the in the club. Wow, I didn't Kinda know cool, that. Yeah, Bobby Jones, uh, being an amateur himself, he, he took care of the amateurs. Yeah. Now, what? Why is it? If you can give us a quick story, why is it that Butler Cabin is the cabin? Do you know the story behind why? I don't Butler know why it's Butler cabin, cabin, except I know that Eisenhower Cabin is right over there too, right. close by. I'm not sure why the Butler Cabin. I think it might be the nicest, the biggest one. Is I'm that not why? sure why it's the cabin. I don't know. I know that one of those, I believe it might have been the Butler Cabin also, where the former um, director of the Masters uh, went out and blew his brains out behind them. Wow. Uh, years ago. So that was uh, I had Cliff no Roberts. idea. Cliff Roberts committed suicide right behind those cabins. Uh, I want to say it's 20 some years ago. He and Bobby wow. Jones were the architects of the Masters. So. Anyway, that might more years. I don't know. Just all so much together. lore in that golf tournament. A lot of it there. Not the kind you want to think about, but that certainly took place there. So. Well, was, uh, I was in there one night, and my friend of mine from Denver was there, and everybody was gone. And we just thought, let's just walk around the clubhouse a little bit. Right. So we did. We kind of just went in there, and there was no security. We went to the champion's room, got in there for a minute, looked around, walked around, just looked at places. Of course, you as a media member, you can eat in there. Right. In the, in the private dining room, which, which was nice. If you got free food, of course, you'll take that. But uh, we would always eat a couple of meals there. And, of course, Dan Jenkins would eat upstairs on the veranda overlooking the tournament, as we talked about. But, no, it's a, 
It's quite an experience. It's a, it's a wonderful place, and I've said this before, and I might be a slight, slight exaggeration now, but I, I truly believe that when I wrote it and said it, that on Sunday at Amen Corner, and you know what that is. You guys probably don't know what it is. 11, 12, it's where, and 13. It's where they all converge into one place. And it, it was written years ago by Herbert Warren Wynn. They were shouting around Amen Corner, which is an old spiritual song came from, because that's where so many big shots took place there on, tw- on 11 Green, 12 of Par 3, and you tee off on 13. And that's the focal point. And I always used to sit on the photographer's stand and wait till all the players came through, the leaders, and I'd sprint up back to the hill of the club to the to the press room and watch the final holes on TV. And that's how you had to watch the Masters. I learned early on, if you tried to watch the Masters in person, you were not going to see the big shots. You can't keep up with it if you're no. watching out there. You don't know what's going on. You have to be plugged in. The there are certain vantage points where you can see good golf, but there's no way to watch all the great shots at the Masters without doing it from television. I always liken it to like an Indy 500 with crashes in it on Sunday because so much goes on. So many things change so fast you can't believe it. Where were you? Were you at the 86 Masters? Yeah. Where were you? Were you back in? I guess you were back in the clubhouse and back in the media center watching it. I I, I was with my friend John Fenneran, and I can tell you about the one moment when all – People or media lost their objectivity, at least the Americans. Never seen it before. You know, no such thing as cheering in a press box. No, you in don't press do it. Box, you get thrown out. You can't cheer. This is not a press box. It's a press room. Sally Ballesteros was out there on the course. And he, I think it was 13. I'm not sure if it was 13 or 15. Anyway, he was uh, leading Nicholas. And Nicholas was coming down the stretch and looked like he might win. And Ballesteros was coming by behind, behind him. And Ballesteros was standing over the ball. His second shot, and he hit the ball. They had a stunned look on his face. The ball went into the water, and the press room erupted. In cheers. In cheers. Wow. John Fenneran, always the prankster, says, Gentlemen, 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 please, no cheering in the press room. And he went, Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a moment there. That was a great moment in 86. That was, the one, that, that was my favorite moment. Although I did get to see Hogan shoot 66 in his last round. Um, and uh, my favorite moment there was that. Is that what makes – is that the one thing about this golf tournament? Because, like you said, the U.S. Open moves around to Beth Page Black and Crooked Stick and, you know, Medina and everything. The PGA Championship moves around. The U.S. The, – the British Open moves around to storied courses in, in, in England. Is the one thing about the Masters that makes it so real is – you just said your favorite moment was 86. Mm-hmm. But somebody else would say Hogan 66 was their favorite moment. Or somebody would say Tiger Woods. A younger group would say Tiger Woods with that Nike emblem that stopped for the camera for a moment before it fell in on 16 was their favorite moment. Is that the the majesty and the mystique of this tournament is that there's so much and all, there's so many different stories that people could relate as being the best story there? And the word, yes. But remember, Nicholas was 46 years old. Right. Some people had written him off. And no one thought he could, could win, the, win the tournament. That was still one of the five or six biggest upsets in sports I can remember. So it had that story. It's a great story. When you're in the writing business, you root for stories. Right. You root for people a little bit, but you root for stories more than anything else. And that was a great story. But you'd be hard-pressed, though, to convince a 20-year-old that Tiger Woods stopping that Nike swoosh right before it ran into 16. And Vern Lunk would, what did he say, better than most? Is that what he said? Or? Yeah, well, he will, yeah. He, but he also said, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he always says that. Vern's been so lucky to be, I've talked to Vern about this. He's been at more, more famous moments. On 16. Later, Oof. shot and whatever, and there, and, and Tiger, and what have you. Anyway, yeah, it's a wonderful venue. It feels a little bit like home when you go there eight, nine, ten years in a row. You go back to the same surroundings. I've been to many U.S. Opens. I've been to many PGAs. I've been to a ton of Masters. There's nothing like going back to Augusta. It's kind of like a ritual for spring. You go back there and you see all your friends. You see the golf course. You see, it's pretty much the same. Life changes. Many things change. Augusta changes a little bit, but Augusta will <laughs> always be Augusta. And the one thing that no matter how many times you try to tell people, bring comfortable shoes oh, yeah. because well, there's no way television cannot up and down 
sets you up for how up and down this golf course is. Speaking of up and down, that's what the basketball season was for the Florida Gators after losing uh, Saturday night. It certainly has been a downer. Franz Beard joins us next. We'll talk about that loss to the Huskies. And tonight's game between Kentucky and the UConn Huskies coming up at 9-10 tonight. We'll take a break and return after this timeout on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA. The Source. If you didn't catch around the water cooler on Buddy's sports page this week, here's what you missed. There's not much pretty about Scotty Wilbekin deking on his cat and mouse routine, darting in and pulling back almost like a semi do over, dumping a ball screen to Will You Get, a guy who only shoots as a last resort. The heart of their offense, however, is their defense and their zone trap. They turn over the opposing player and attack their will. They've come a long way since Donovan had to scour the parking lots for a quorum to hold practice. And even though it took his former team manager to fill the void and walk on Jacob Kurtz came aboard, he has wound up playing significant minutes. It is true that the experts say that success is 90% about showing up. And the firm of Wilbekin, Young, Prather, and Yet, the seniors, will all graduate magna cum laude from Donovan's School of Grit and Determination. Around the Water Cooler, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 o'clock on Buddy's Sports Page, right here on WOCA, The Source. Help Ocala! We are stuck with aging inventory that's got to go. Are you stuck too? Driving in an old car you hate? This month, if you help me, I'll help you get unstuck from your old ride so you can drive a nicer, newer car today. Chris Spears here from Prestige Auto Sales. I can help you break free from that old car you hate. Here's how. One, bring me in your old ride, and even if you're still making payments, two, based on the sale price of the car you choose, I'll give you up to $4,075 more than the appraised value of your old car, and three, choose any nicer, newer car for my specially priced gotta-go inventory. Easy breezy. Are you feeling stuck with bad credit muck? Our For The People credit approval process will work hard to unglue you from your bad credit luck. So bring me in your old ride, and based on the sale price of the nicer, newer car you choose, I'll give you up to $4,075 more than the appraised value of your old car. But come quick. This offer won't stick around for long. I'm Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit Prestige Auto Sales or call 694-1234. Yes, 694-1234. See you at Prestige. Your heating and air conditioning unit sure will get a workout this season, and you need to make sure it's in tip-top condition. Let Air Ducts Heating and Air give you that peace of mind by knowing your unit will work at its optimum efficiency, saving you time and money. Air Ducts is a full HVAC residential and commercial company. Air Ducts is family-owned and operated, so we treat you the way we want to be treated. Air Ducts also offers discounts for builders and commercial applications, so give us a call today, 352-304-6766. That number again, 352-304-6766. Air Ducts Heating and Air Conditioning. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep and neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. We're still the same. We're still the same. Night, 9-10, Yukon Huskies, Kentucky Wildcats. Wouldn't it be something the Florida Gators... Would have beaten the national champion three times and couldn't beat a team from UConn. 
Uh, before we go to France Beard, just hold on with France. There's some numbers we need to bring up here. Remember, it's not just losing, it's when you lose. How you lose matters to Gator fans right now because they got clobbered. But remember this, Kentucky was staggering into the tournament at the end of, 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 of right before the SEC tournament. And we had looked it up. And, and Yes, and, and in their last 10 games, they lost five games, three of them to Florida. They lost 69-59 to Florida. They, they lost to Arkansas, and they lost to South Carolina, and then they lost the very last game of the regular season to Florida and then an SEC championship to Florida. Now, Kentucky, or Connecticut, on the other hand, lost to Louisville 81-48. to at the very end of the regular Amazing. season. 34 yeah. points. It's about all about the draw. No way these are seven, eight seeds, and uh, just how it turned out that way. But Florida had his chance. Gators couldn't pull it off. It was a disappointing loss. The way they lost, it reminded me of somewhat, not quite as bad as the Fiesta Bowl loss to Nebraska, but in terms of the, the point, the way they fell apart and lost the game, very similar, unfortunately. However, a great year for Billy Donovan, a great year for the Gators, and 30, 30 uh, game winning streak. But it did hurt Franz Beard, didn't it? Oh, absolutely it does. And it goes to prove one thing, in which Billy Donovan has been saying for years. Uh, it doesn't Winning the national championship doesn't necessarily prove you're the best team in the country. It means that you had the best three weeks of anybody in the country. Uh, I still think the, the Gators are the best team in the country, but I, don't, I think that they fell short of having the best three weeks at the end. That may end up being Kentucky. It may end up being UConn. You know, a lot of people are going to second-guess things when you lose like that, naturally. You can have a thousand different theories. Uh, I personally have a theory. I, I can't prove it. But I know the Scotty Wilpikin I saw was not the Scotty Wilpikin I know. And while I would give UConn full credit for winning the game and all credit to their guard play, which is terrific, uh, I must say, and, of course, Daniels, his three-pointers three, three point, his three pointers just turned the game around. But in my opinion um, – uh, Scotty Wilpigan was right, not right. I, I don't know if he was hurt. I've heard at least one rumor that might have been the case. He was missing balls badly. He had nobody to throw the ball to. He missed his shots badly, I mean. And uh, where was Michael Frazier? He disappeared completely. Now, and there was a stretch there for a while where Billy had three non-scorers on the floor, and it really did reflect it in the 11-0 run by UConn. Now, we can second guess and talk about it. I want to say first and foremost, I'm personally wearing a blue shirt with a, with a Gator logo and a basketball on it today to represent the fact that I've enjoyed this season a lot, and I appreciate what the Gators have done. When you break it down from, from a st- standpoint of the, the game, being up 16-4, to what happened to the Gators? Well, they, they, UConn makes a couple shots and gets hot. Uh, Florida has a bad scoring rotation. Gators uh, couldn't hit shots, turned the ball over uh, three critical times as well. Uh, it's one of these things that happens. You know, you give a team a chance to to get some momentum, and they grab them. I thought Florida, when they were up sixteen to four, Florida had three chances to put them away. I thought that when Prater missed that uh, that layup, it was critical. Then they missed the then they missed uh, a follow up to that, and then they missed another another possession. They missed, and, and those t- chances, they could have been up like 19 or 21 to 4. I think that UConn was on the ropes and ready to go. When those things didn't happen, and then UConn comes back, hit the three suddenly, and then the Gators turned over, they come back, get another three. The game totally changed its complexion. Um, you know, it, and that's kind of the way it goes in, in games like this. The momentum, the early momentum, if you've got a chance to put a team away, you've got to do it because if you don't, it comes back to haunt you. That's what happened there. I give a lot of credit to Kevin Ollie for a terrific defensive strategy to keep Wilbekin out of the lane and take Frazier out of the game. And without those two things, Florida was struggling to find anybody, somebody who, who could score. Yep. 36-3 record, <clears throat> 30 wins in a row, 32 consecutive home wins. Highest winning percentage, 923. First SEC to go 18-0 in the regular season. All good. Disappointing. However, that's just the way it is. And by the way, this comment from a friend of mine who lives in Connecticut who was talking a lot about the Gators, unfortunately, a little too much smack. Today, my friend Robert Scott said, I knew I shouldn't have said Gators use Huskies as their sled team. Not a good choice for words. Tonight, you got 10 seconds to pick the outcome of tonight's game. 
I think Kentucky is going to win it. Uh, I don't think you guys got the size to handle them on the inside. All right, Franz, talk to you Thursday. Franz Beard, appreciate your reports. Thanks to Franz, to Ron Syrak, and to Gerald Ertle today on the program. On behalf of my returning broadcast partner, Tom Schmitz, for Austin Statman, Tatman, and Joshua LaSalle, I'm Buddy Martin. Have a great night, everybody. She grew up in an Indiana town, had a good-looking mom. She never was around, but she grew up tall and... You know, Austin, I'm sitting here at the computer looking at our Facebook page, and boy, we really need to tell more listeners about our Facebook page. No, no, Tom, so you got it all wrong. Twitter is the new age. What's a tweeter? No, a Twitter, Tom. The voice of Ocala has a Twitter. We do? Well, how do we tell our listeners about that? All they have to do is get the Twitter app or go to twitter.com, type in Voice of Ocala in the search box, and click follow. 